Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. So pleased that you're joining us. Make sure you give us a wave and a hello, let us know that you're here. Today we have got Dawn Butler back in the kitchen. She's she's also known as Dinky Doodle by her parents. It's not my little nickname for her, by the way, so don't think I'm being rude. But what a fun, fab little lady. Aww. Most of you know her. We love her dearly. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we love her dearly. And we love having her in the kitchen. She's a massive big bundle of fun. Um, when I say massive, I don't mean like that. I'm the massive one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. But anyhow, she's here in the kitchen to show you her airbrush. She's going to show you the fractal colours. She's going to be using the sweet stamps and we're going to talk, going to quickly show you a cake that she's doing in class tomorrow, which I instantly fell in love with two weeks ago. And I asked when I asked Dawn to come up here two weeks ago, I saw her at the Sugar Craft Show in Wales and I saw this and oh my god, Dawn, you'll have to come and do that as a class. So she said, why don't I do it the day after I do the live and we have sold out for the class. It is fantastic. Look at this little beauty. How close can we get it to you? Do you see that close? Ooh, yeah. So, so it's the new class that I launched basically, but now Carol's got it first. Yeah. Because she's got it before anybody else. pushing. <laughs> but what we're really trying to show is that yes, I can make cakes move. Yes, I can make cakes fly. But how do we commercially carve stuff and make money out of it? So it's all cake. There's no Rice Krispie Treats and we're using modeling chocolate and we're using wafer paper for the wings um, and it's just a whole bundle of fun really but yeah so first class tomorrow guys we will post pictures of all the amazing cakes that everybody makes tomorrow but carol has got the world exclusive of the dragon how do you do it you got world exclusive my airbrush because i'm good <laughs> she's a bully That's there's no other is. word for it i'm good I know how to manipulate people <laughs> in a very nice way. No, I love a deal. You do support everything I do, so absolutely I do. you can have it with pleasure. Everybody who knows me knows I'm a big follower of any brand. Any brand that I actually stock, and I only stock brands, okay? I don't stock any copies. I only stock brands. And if you're a brand in our shop, then that is it. You get my 100% support dedication. You guys know that. Yeah, you know no, that. absolutely. Everybody who deals with me knows that. So, um, anyhow, so I can't wait to this class tomorrow because I'm on it as well. You are. So, what have we done? Have you done a little competition? Is it called Name the Dragon? Oh, yeah, so we're still on. Anybody that's been on my page has been doing Name the Dragon. We've not yet, I haven't even stopped. I've not sat down. So, we've not yet done it. So, if Carol's anybody a good wants. Name. Uh, what, what? Carol's a good name. Oh, Carol, for, for a dragon? <laughs> really? Yeah. It's cute. You're not dragon like <laughs> at all. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're still doing Name the Dragon, so you don't need to kind of hop over to my page, that's fine. I will check this feed and check out any names that you suggest. However, basically it comes on a first, if we like the name Carol, whoever suggested it first on whichever page would get picked. There is a completely independent adjudicating panel, <laughs> consists of my kids, um, whoever chooses the name. But we will draw that to an end probably over the weekend because... Whoever chooses the winning name will get a free place on one of my dragon classes. Absolutely, that's and a marvellous prize. Anyhow, to go with the dragons, okay, Katie Sue brought these new um, moulds out a couple of weeks ago. And this is the dragon skin, and Dawn will be using that in the class. That's what was there for the, for the skin. Also, the claws, look how fabulous those claws are. Can you see them, Laura? Yeah. Claws, claws. We didn't use the eyes because this is for a big dragon. The size, yeah. Yeah, that's the smaller yeah. dragon. But these are fantastic. Okay, so we do have those in stock. Anybody here, everything that we show you tonight is actually on the wish list. So if you're new to Sugar and Crumbs or you want to buy anything at Sugar and Crumbs, you come to our uh, website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. At the top of the page there, we've got home, shop, brand, and all the other little bits. Go right the way along to Facebook Live, drop down into this month's Facebook Lives. Find Dinky Doodle, this little one here, and everything that Dawn is using tonight is actually in that product section. So if you want to buy Dawn's um, airbrush, you can buy that. And we've got a freebie going. Oh, here they go. Woo! Do you know, I've not got any of these in stock. I have. So Carol has, because she <laughs> wiped me out of them. I have. So uh, Dawn will tell you more about these amazing fractal colours. You get these free with every airbrush that's bought, okay? Um, and we've got them in stock. We've also got a cleaning station in stock, but the pa the, the um... spare pen. Or spare pen. pen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've got the sweet stamps yeah. in stock, but everything in stock. So anyhow, just before I go, Dawn has brought a little helper. Little. Little helper. Little helper. 
very handsome man too. <laughs> now it's not often we get a man in the kitchen. Okay, you know John's always doing a runner. So tonight I want to introduce you to Daniel. Come on, Daniel. So, <laughs> so this little fella <laughs> is Dawn's son. <laughs> is, is my 14 year old son. Is, and I tell you, he's a credit to her. So he's actually on helping duties. He's helping Dawn load up, get ready for the class. Get ready for today's life. Help down with everything. Lesson. And what a lovely young man. We've been out for tea tonight, haven't we? Yeah. Nice conversationless as well. Not a grumpy Lesson. little fella. Lesson. Not moan. Full of confidence. I tell you, we should make more of him like you. Uh -oh. Your age. Yes. yes. No, he's a good kid. Anybody that was at Patchwork Cutters last weekend would have kind of seen. He was busy working, working really hard. So he's only 14, but already saving up for his first car. Bless him. So that's what he's earning his pennies towards because he's achieved his jamboree. Haven't you? Your money yeah. for your jamboree. So massive thanks, actually, I need to say, to Carol from Sugar and Crumbs. Because Carol gave us a donation for Daniel to raise money for his World Scouting Jamboree. And with there, we've reached our target. So Daniel, what was it that you wanted to say? I just want to say a big thank you for all of you who supported me and helped me get through all the amazing work that I did. There you go. You see? Great. Bless him. Isn't it? Well done. I know. Put those love hearts up. <laughs> any 14 year old, 15 year old, maybe 16. You got to get through me first. A bit older. <laughs> eh? Look at this one. Good looking one. Clever and bright too. Right, we'll catch up with you shortly. Yes, yes right. You. I'm going to get out of the way. Let Dawn do a demo for you. You'll see we've Super. got a bit of a different position today, okay? Because we're going to be working on this side and this side. And I need to tell you what we're making. We're not well, making that, the dragon. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not the we're dragon not. is for the class. We're actually making party time cake. And if you remember, when I was a kid, I loved these biscuits. Can you see it there? Who doesn't love a good old party ring? <laughs> I used to scoff these by the packet. You went, I know. My mum used to buy them because there was four kids. And I think there's four sections, or is there five sections? But we were allowed to choose a section each. Right, and that yeah. was it. That, that was it. That. that was our rations. Yeah. yeah. So um, I remember... Well, I'm these. really... I buy them because now you can get them one? in the pouches. You can get them in the pouches, but the pouches aren't very protective of the biscuits. No. And you can't use any broken ones uh, on a cake. <laughs> Good. So I end up having to buy three bags in order that I just get enough for the cake. <laughs> I don't know what happens to the rest of them. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Haven't got a clue. But they are a little bit more. So this is what we're making tonight. Well, what Dawn's making tonight. She's going to show you how to airbrush this. What do you notice here? Sweet stamps. How fabulous is that? We have no idea how she's done this. Oh, we have no idea how she's done this. I can't wait to see how she's done it. But it looks great. I'm really very, very excited. And we've but, got a wafer paper bow on the top. Yes, a wafer paper bow, which is very special because liquid normally melts this. But what Dawn's going to do to it, you don't need the fabric liquid, do you? You don't need anything else other than uh, fractal colours. Yeah, that's it. I'll just that's it. So. Good. And then what you're going to see, are we back over here, Laura? Yeah. What you're going to see is we've actually set up this side of the kitchen as well, just so that um, we can. Um, when I'm airbrushing, you don't want to basically see the back of the cake when I'm airbrushing the front of it, in, yes. a, in essence. So, what we'll be doing is switching cameras. When I'm ready to airbrush, I'll be picking this up, taking it over there so that you can see what it is that I'm doing, basically. Yes, yeah, so we're going backwards and forwards. So, if somebody's phone is pinging. Who's is that? Is it me? <laughs> Mate, it's <laughs> coming from there. It's me. <laughs> Daniel, get it off. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you to it. So Laura, have we got a good audience? We have. We've got lots, lots of regular names and, and regular too. viewers. If you are new to Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Lives, say hi, introduce yourself. It'd be really nice for you to let us know that you're watching. It's a really friendly audience that we get. Everyone's very helpful. If you've got any questions that are relevant to tonight's live, please ask away. Um, but the feed moves very quickly, so if we don't get to everything, we will get round to you once we finish the live. No problem. Daniel, you're struggling with my phone, kiddo. Come here. We need to turn my phone off. Come here, bring it here. You got it? Turn it off. Right. Bless him. I could see him frantically. Like this in the background. Panicking like a good one. Oh. Okay. Um, so, basically, we're going to take you through this little party time cake. Um, Carol kind of suggested, had you tried this new sweet stamps, take a look at them, what do you think? And I thought, yeah, they're really cool. Um, but life's too short for hand painting. So I need to airbrush it. And Being the actually, airbrushing queen that you are. Well, <laughs> um, so there's loads of things that we could have done with it and we could have done with it on a board. Everything that I'm using tonight is completely transferable to all sorts of different sets of skills. 
but I wanted to just show you how cool they could be because I don't know whether you've noticed but the party time isn't white is it and no. it's not one colour that's a mix of colours oh my word how on earth have I done it no we don't know we're excited no. well we're I can't be bothered to show you so yeah. I'm going home and we'll let you figure it out now. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. So let me pop this to one side for a moment. It may well get in our way, but we'll see what happens later. It feels weird sitting this side of the kitchen. It's very strange. Because of this setup, I've got to sit on the other side of Laura, which seems very, so very weird. Are you all a bit confused then, are you? Yeah. <laughs> So because I need the um, sugar paste to be soft when I start this, otherwise those sweet stamps aren't going to go in. Sorry I'm rustling. I won't rustle and talk at the same time. Um, but because I don't, I don't want it to have gone hard, yes we could have wrapped the cake in cling film, but actually I thought it would be pretty useful if you saw me cover a cake, because it's quite a tall cake. Um, I've already put Trex on it, so it's already um, coated here. Some people wet their cakes with a bit of water. I like to use Trex because it sticks for long enough, um, but then allows me to get it off quite easily as well. Sorry, sure, don't, don't want to take your thing now. Don't take what down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a bun fight else? going on behind the camera here. Where should I move? Two. Is, do you want any rude suggestions or just, <laughs> just a polite? Well, Laura and I, do you know That's what? We've been working together for over a year, me on her left, and then and now I'm on her right. Well, it's and like it feels very and and whatever. Yeah. It's around, isn't it? Holly, what have you? I know. <laughs> We've got a couple of people saying that we keep freezing, but the feed is active and it's absolutely fine from here. So I'm not sure if it's just a couple of people that are having that a problem, was me freezing, but I'm by the not. Way. That's really helpful. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but I'm not having any problems when I've watched it on my phone. And we're not um, having any um, connection problems at all from here at the moment. So we'll persevere. Yeah. See what happens. I can say mine's not freezing. So I can see I've, I've got a couple of like little hard lumps in my sugar paste. But it's just a demo cake. So I'm not really worried about it. But it will mean that it's not the best in the world. But you'll forgive me for that really, won't you? So, when I go to cover, I take my rolling pin and I'm putting my icing actually just above that surface. I'm not sort of going all the way down with it in the hope that I can cover it all the way around. I've got low to one side and not the other. So let's just gently move it and lift it. That's better. So we're a bit short on this side, but I'm not concerned about it at all, just down here. Because what we're going to do, has anybody ever had um, a pet dog and had an ear that's really soft on the dog? Yeah, and I've got one called Chip. Oh. Can't stop waving his, touching his ears. And I stroke the dog's ear. So that is what I'm doing on this cake, basically. Giving the a sugar paste a very gentle, and I'm not pulling it. But just by stroking it, actually, you'll just drop it down a touch. If you think at all it's going to tear around the top, just gently, gently, gently hug the top and connect with that top corner. And that will stop it from tearing down. And then we're doing what I call filling the skirt. So basically, I'm bringing everything outwards and I just want the creases to be off the project. See, they never knew they was getting a lesson on covering the I cake. Know. This is bonus. Bonus. No, I know. It's bonus. It's bonus. I could have we just done it. We need to I could have done it in advance, but it's actually quite useful because it's quite a tall cake. Mm. And I don't even know what um, sugar paste I've got here. And the point is, I don't need to know. There, are, there is not one single brand out there that's a rubbish sugar paste. No. It's actually the user. And it's yeah. just not understanding what you need to do with it. And you might need to put some CMC in it. You might need to work quickly with it. You might need to hug it at the top to stop it from tearing. I have to go and arrive in a country that I've probably never been to, deal with a sugar paste brand that I've never even heard of, in a temperature and humidity that I've never ever dealt with, 
and teach class mm. and get on with it. And I can't ever blame whatever it is that mm. we've got because that's what they're using and I need to find a way quickly to work with it in order that they get what they need, basically. So there was that big um, crease I said earlier on that I've got. I'll show you this actually, I don't know why I'm covering it up behind and not yeah. showing. Yeah. So I, I'd stuck my nail in it and it's then torn here. Yeah. But basically what I'm doing is just pinching it together. And can you see how I use my fingers to rock like so? And then somewhere, Daniel, in my pink toolbox, no I wanted a acrylic oh. one is what I'm after. Ah. Just chuck us my toolbox, it's fine. Is that a hard one you want? Or a bendy one? No, a bendy one. Yeah, in that cupboard. Oh, are they? That's easy. Yeah. See, stage hands. <laughs> yeah. I knew there was a reasonable one, so it's very breeze. useful. It's not, it's the fact that I really wanted to just show everybody my things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but wait till you open that cupboard there and use that Brina one because you'll love it. I know, I bet it's good. You'll love yeah. it. Because it doesn't slip out your hand. Yeah. So all I'm going to do now that is go round and round in circles, and I don't know whether you can see how quickly that, one there. Just, that was just a the hole one. in there, just the white one. and it's gone. Yeah. So actually the great thing is, is if a sugar paste is soft, then you know that you can blend it back together dead easy. Dead, dead easy. Hold that and see what you think the difference. So, which side is which? Uh, well, the smoother side. It's called Get a Grip Smoother. So Comes that is for fingers. It stops it slipping out your hand. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like it. Stops you slipping out your hand. Because sometimes with those smoothers, they are great. You do get all those in the set. Yeah. Um, you get all different shapes and sizes. But yeah. this one, uh, they're great for holding on top of the cake. But this one's great for just smoothing around. Nicely done. Yeah. I like it. Thumbs up from me. Now then, when you go to trim, Always trim the table, never anywhere near the cake. So you never go in at this angle. You're not cutting here and you're not cutting at this angle. You're cutting here, look. I'm a good few millimetres onto the table because what happens is sugar paste shrinks and it jumps up. So imagine, here's my cake and here's my board. If I cut here, which is what most people do, it, I know, it jumps up to here, basically. They're insured. <laughs> go off, it's fine. If you cut here, then when you go to re-smooth with your fingers, it tucks in and you're good to go, basically. Well, we've got a massive audience done, over 300 people, which Goodness is fantastic, me. is what we want. Um, lots of people saying hi. Um, just let me answer Linda James's question. Does sugar and crumbs icing contain egg? No, it doesn't. Um, and what else have we got here? We've got loads of, we've got loads of names for the dragon. Yeah. Absolutely oh, loads. We're going to shout good, those good, out. Good. <coughs> the freezing bit was just at the beginning of the live, and I think that was possibly why we were just moving this camera around, right. if I'm honest. So I think that's probably what it is, because it all seems settled down now. And everyone is very chuffed that that you're here in the kitchen. Oh, yay! Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> because it keeps me in doing what I do for a living like this. I love it. Don't make me go back to having a proper job. <laughs> so keep me doing what it is that I'm doing, please. Um, you'll notice I've turned it upside down. I would do that if it was a cake. Um, I would have a piece of greaseproof paper so that I can easily move it around and flip it back again. But what this does look is I'm pushing against this surface at the top before I trim it. And I'm also, you see how I'm slamming down here? That's giving me a sharper, neater edge. Now, I'm not yeah. worried. We're not on sharp corners tonight. That's not what we're here for. But this is the process that I go through. Yeah. Then when you go to trim, it's knife inwards and stop. Knife inwards and stop. Don't saw it. The minute that you pull back with a blade, the sugar paste comes back off again. Oh, and you'll end it. up with um, an absolute dog's breakfast. So it's a bonus here tonight, it's Laura, isn't it? Valuable. We can learn where we're going wrong. <laughs> See. Everything that Dawn has said, don't do, I've done. I'm just going to say I do the same. Oh, yeah. Pulling the knife back, yeah. Yeah. everything. Never <laughs> pull the knife back. Never, never, never. And by the way, I've not been coal mining, <laughs> nor picking my nose or any other orifice. I've just been a busy girl. I'm sorry. I had actually it washed my fingers paint. before this live. Every time I see you, though, you're always covered in paint. But I think every time you pick up your airbrush, 
I did yeah. say to Dawn, why don't you put gloves on? But she can't wear the gloves. I can't wear it. They don't make them small enough for starters. Yeah. Because they don't do toddler sized latex <laughs> gloves. I think there'd be some sort of issue if they did. So a few people have mentioned they bought your airbrush and they are scared. <gasps> Are you terrified? Scared. Some have not really, used really, it yet. Really scared. Yeah. Look, I can't be bothered with effort, and I haven't got the patience for skill. I go with ease every time. So if it wasn't easy, I wouldn't be doing it. I'll tell you that now. But you'll see tonight, and then I want to see lots of pictures of what you've been up to, please. Absolutely. Okay, so we are basically looking at putting those letters and things like that. We've all seen how the sweet stamps work, or maybe you haven't, um, but we're gonna be putting those in the cake. But as I said to you before, that um, the letters that we'd exposed were colored, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that's what we need to be doing. Now I'm not gonna move for airbrushing on this occasion, whether we all go, because it's all over and you can yeah. see what it is I'm doing. Yeah. It's when I'm doing other little bits and pieces. So I've got a board somewhere. Here we go. This is just an ordinary cake card and it's only just. It's upside down look. It do, well, I, I, this side is shinier and colour beads on it. Oh, does so it? I, yeah, really beads on it. Right. So what I can end up happening is I try and move stuff try and then I get up. even more. No, it's fine. I'm just going to put a piece of kitchen roll over the top. All right. So we're fine. But you can end up making an absolute dog's breakfast. And it's not, it's that that makes me look like this. It's not <laughs> airbrushing. Um, it's picking up things and moving stuff that's full of colour. Mm. Carol's just handed me this, and I didn't know I was going to use a turntable tonight. If I was using this at home, I would put a shower cap over it. Shower caps that you get in hotels, just start having them, having them away because it just means that it stops it getting colour on. She's now, Carol's now disappeared off. Because she's got a shower cap. In case she's got a random shower cap. No, she has. Has <laughs> she really? Yeah, well, some, somebody told me to buy them. Probably me. Told me to buy them for the food mixer. But then when I put them on the food mixer, it chewed it up. Yeah, so it will do. It, it will do. It just spun round like madness. Yeah, it will do. So I'll have this lovely lady come and show us a special one. What colours have I got? Uh, I've only disappeared, folks, because I'm looking for colours. Don't get too worried. I've not gone anywhere. Maria's just waved to everybody. So that's Maria in the background, everybody. In case anyone wondered who the lady in the jumper is when it's a really warm day, you know, Maria, of course. I know, it's 15 degrees There's today. There's only Maria who can wear a February. jumper on a warm spring day, isn't there? To be fair, I've got a jumper on tonight. Oh, this my heart so much. Don't really, Carol, don't worry I'm about that. Worried, no, it's all right. I'm not worried, I was only going to show them. Come on, you carry on. I will. I was only worried about the noise in the background. I'm oh, sorry. Please oh, don't sorry. let it distract you. <laughs> Stop it. Can't find them anyhow. Right, let's knock that one on the head. <laughs> anyway, they're a really good idea and a great tip. Okay, so I've got a selection of colours. And what I'm trying to do is pick colours that are going to be different to the other colour that's then going on the top, basically. Um, we've got an airbrush, at least I hope we have, otherwise this <laughs> demonstration is going to be pretty boring. <laughs> right. And a hose, here we go. Get a bottle of water, there we are, and the kitchen roll, and now I'm good to go. Okay, so those of you that are terrified of airbrushing, Please, please, don't be, okay? There's some basic principles. If I move this to the side for a sec, that we need to look at, okay? So I'm gonna put yellow in the airbrush first because that's the lightest color I'm working with. I've had pink in there, but it should stop and put, there we go, look, it's come through pretty quickly, okay? So if I'm a good distance away, I thought you were showing me your boots. <laughs> Adjusting myself. She was adjusting herself. <laughs> They're that big. I have to lift them up and move them around. Sorry. <laughs> Never before have I gone off. I can't even remember what I I'm doing now. Get them out. <laughs> no, she didn't. I thought they were on their way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
these men, everybody. <laughs> these men have knocked you out, these. I'm not me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right, we'll wait till after the Okay, then. So, basically, if I'm a good distance, well, she's giggling away here now. Daniel will never be the same again. <laughs> I've corrupted my child. <laughs> so, a good distance. I know, hasn't he just? <laughs> if I'm a good distance away, then my spray is going to be nice and wide. If I go close to, then my spray is going to be nice and fine. Okay? That's basically what's going on. Somewhere in between the two is a difference of variance between those two things. If, however, I'm dead close to my project and I pull the trigger back too much, that's where you end up with that overspray and that horrible drip and everything else. So what you guys need to do at home is learn how to keep the cake or the page dry. And that's by not pulling back the trigger too much. Okay? That's basically all it is. And tonight is a really great lesson in how to airbrush a cake gently because we need to airbrush it and then we need to do something else with it straight away and we can't do it with a saturated cake. So, I'm not gonna do an ombre here. What I'm gonna do is little circles and I'll do some on the top first so you can kind of quickly see what I'm up to. Now I tried this, I had a bit of a play before this finished cake that you can see and I did an ombre, a normal ombre that you can see all striped and layered but actually, because I wrote the word party straight, it was all pink. You couldn't see there was a difference of colour, so it didn't work. So I thought spots was better, and I was right. And we get there eventually. It takes some time to take a trial and error. That's all. Now I can come back and put some more yellow in if I want to. I don't know whether you can see how little I've put in this cup. Yeah. But I've got loads mm -hmm. left. Yeah. So guys, you would be putting that back in your airbrush. But because I didn't have a clean airbrush to begin with, I'm not going to. It's amazing how little you actually need, isn't it? Really, really little. Loads, yeah, loads, 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 loads. Not at all. Well, I'm looking forward to paying attention tonight. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> and then the last time you were here in July, I never got to see any of the demo. I was too busy you sorting too out busy. You were... my crash website that your sales kept crashing. No, sorry. Everyone popping things in their sorry. shopping basket, couldn't buy them. It just went mad. It was a frenzy. It did. So we're a lot more prepared tonight, guys. So I'm spraying through until I've got a pink, basically. It's quite a corally sort of colour, actually. And all I'm going to do is more spots. Can you see how gentle I'm going? So I'm not pulling the trigger back a lot, and I'm dry. Straight away, I can touch this, and it's dry. What are you looking at, you, there? Daniel. Oh, wow, was he doing? Twizzling on the chair. <laughs> <mean nothing. laughs> You'll be sacked in a minute, Daniel. <laughs> I didn't want to make him draw attention to it. But clearly, I have now. <laughs> it's it's like the look on my face. Sit <laughs> still. You've given him a twizzly chair. <laughs> Can't help yourself. No, I know that he's lovely and everything else, but he's a boy with a twizzly chair. <laughs> he's not going to sit still. Okay, so that's enough kind of um, pink for me. I'm going to go with a darker shade of pink. I love this pink. This is like um, a real kind of hot pink. It's your kind of pink. Mm. Oh, this is. And I'll come in again and just do little bits. I'm fascinated to see how you pull this together tonight. So am I. Since you, <laughs> since you sent us a picture of the cake, we were looking at it and thinking, how has she done that? It's so effective. Yeah. It, it is absolutely amazing. Yeah. All will be revealed. So that's enough for that one. The cake yeah. that is. Yeah. Not my boobies. Yeah, no, my boobies. <laughs> oh, God, Carol! We just got past it! <laughs> I know. We've forgotten all about it. <laughs> Until now. So I've moved on to the fractal lilac now. Everything I'm doing at the moment is the flow air colours. So it's the larger water-based, kind of what I call basic stock colours, but there's nothing basic about them. They are lovely, but they're the kind of like your store covered ingredients. They're what you need to have in at all times, and you can make any cake that you ever need, basically. I'm filling in some of the gaps. That's what I'm doing in lilac. Question. Yes. Um, if you were doing a solid colour, did yeah. you build it up gradually? So it depends really on what the colour is. If it's black, I can't be bothered. 
let's get it on there. You don't want to really oversaturate, but that's the only occasion when I would um, let a cake get wet, as I call it. Um, other than that, yes, you can be building a, a colour up, but gradually and just very gently all over that cake, keep it going on the turntable. I think I might add a bit of turquoise in there. Just cause I can. Okay. Next mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Is it normal for the air to still blow through if you're not touching the trigger? Always. It's a single action airbrush. A single action airbrush means it only requires one action to make it work. That one action is you pulling back the trigger. You will always... I won't spray a but look. I wasn't pulling back the trigger. <laughs> That is coming to your gold because that was all Did I you can. get her? Yeah. <laughs> that is a but proper YouTube frame moment. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't spray her. Did you just craft it on her? We're going to wait till you watch this back. It's your comedy gold. Look, this is how confident I am. I'm not spraying. But you will feel air. Can I tell you what that air is really useful for? If you need to dry a cake. Mm. Oh, that's good, yeah. Because it's just air that you're putting on. Mm. So anything that you kind of need to do like that, away you go. I need to check the colour, I'm on my turquoise, so we're good to go. I was going to be you. I, I, <laughs> the look on your face said it all. It's like Dawn, I used to like you. That's what Tammy Wallace says, she says the look on her face. <laughs> I know, I have a funny feeling it might be a while before I'm back in the room again. <laughs> so I make the most stuff here. I like, I like the cake, that colour already. I love it. I, like I know, that. I was going to yeah. say, it's actually really kind of pretty as it is, yeah. isn't it? What you need to watch out for is your colour theory, folks. So we've got yellow in here, and if I go too much with the turquoise over the top, which is kind of a blue, you could make green, couldn't you? So yellow and blue make green. Turquoise is kind of okay, it'll t tinge it a little bit, but it's not as strong as perhaps as in a blue. But I'm trying to make sure that I add it to other colour patches instead so that you sort of bring it in and it all kind of does it together. But yeah, that's actually quite a nice little effect on its yeah. own, isn't it? And have a play with colours on pieces of paper. It doesn't all need to be done straight on a cake. Have a bit of a play and see what you think to it. So we will get rid of that. I'm then gonna switch to over here because I need to write the word party time now in the cake and you're not gonna see it if I do it here. So, over we go, and tell me if I'm in shot. Perfect. Yes. Okay. okay. So I believe you've all seen Amy come over and do all of this mm -hmm. and use this. So this is really good. I've chosen to do party and time with capital letters, basically. And it's with the stylish set. It is with the stylish sets mm -hmm. because that's me all over. Yes. Yeah. Classy <laughs> girl. <laughs> Classic girl, honestly. Mm. Thank you. So I'm just going to decide where I've got the most colour mixers because that's what I'm into. Have you shrunk a bit shorter? Yeah, I know, honestly. <laughs> honestly Can they honestly. see her on the camera there? <laughs> yeah. We've never had our, our tutors on the floor before. <laughs> yeah, well, seriously. And all I'm doing is pushing it into the cake. But can you now see why the cake needs to be dry? Oh, I used uh, capitals for the party, for the whole party. And the other thing that I like about this is that because it's the word party and it's all a bit fun, it doesn't need to be straight, <laughs> which is great. Yeah. Because there's nothing that's ever precise about me. So I'm right. making sure... You're now in front of the camera. Sorry. Dawn. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. You'll notice I'm putting a handprint in the top. Everyone's now that. looking down your neck. Nice. Um, you'll notice I'm putting a handprint in the top of the cake. Patty. I was just about to say Patty. we might have missed an R. We might have missed I was getting so excited. <laughs> I was getting so excited. We can't come up with a word that's Pat something or other, can we? It could be postman Pat's birthday. That'd be good. Don't forget from the other side. You're going into the camera again. I know, sorry, I just need to do I'm doing left handed. We'll be all right. Oh, Amy's watching tonight. No pressure. Um, <laughs> but she said it looks stunning. And Sandor. It looks stunning, but I can't it spell. Looks yeah. Well. And Sandor from Fractal Colours is watching. Hi, Sandor. Hello. So what I'm doing, folks, is you know the long 
stick of the T has now gone into the long stick of the R. It'll disguise, no one will know. Yeah. Don't tell anybody you lot. We'll see now. <laughs> now I can put, I was about to put a Y in then. I'm getting all ahead of myself, you see. <laughs> in all seriousness, folks, um, I am severely dyslexic. It's not that that's an excuse. What I'm trying to say to you is, I write down every single message, even though I know how to spell the word party. Well, I was going to say, I think you're brave spelling it like, because I would, str I struggle. Well, but I'm getting distracted and doing other yeah. things. My point is, is that you must, must, must always um, write down the word in front of you. Don't treat it as a word, treat it as a series of events. You do one, tick it off, do the next, tick it off, do the next, tick it well, off. Well, actually, people have actually quite liked the idea that you've made the mistake because if they've, if they've done it, they don't need to panic. I did it on purpose. Absolutely. Just so you learned something. <laughs> so they're quite happy with that because it's uh, you can show them how to correct it. Yeah. I would have smoothed it over, re airbrushed, and to be fair, at this point, I could have turned the cake round and used the other side, yeah. couldn't I? And we've got one of our lovely regulars from Australia, Louisa Johnson, who thinks we're a bunch of scallywags tonight. <laughs> We are a bunch of scallywags. She's cracked herself up laughing. <laughs> nice early morning start for you, Louisa. Just a bit. Oh, yeah. I've got the scribe stuck in my finger. <clears throat> Which do you want to line up? When Dawn's arm comes. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. But I'm just saying, if we push the camera up a bit, we'll, Dawn can still move her arm properly, but we won't get her arm shot. Sure when I'm air pushing, I'm left handed, so you'll just get less. Just push the camera up, that's all. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, thank you. So these are honestly just a great way to use, um, just another way to kind of use them basically. So I've airbrushed first, you've seen how I can touch this cake and how dry it is. I'm just going to very, very briefly look, take my finger marks at the top. Okay. Like so. Gonna leave that there for a couple of seconds and I'm gonna come back round to here, okay? So, I want some spots on it too. Um, I don't want to use, I quite often use stickers or um, masking tape or whatever as a stencil. I don't want to do that on this occasion because I have only just airbrushed that cake. And if I've gone a little heavy handed, perhaps where I didn't realize it, it may well pull off the color. Um, so it's, this is just really a bit of a fail safe. So I'm using sugar paste, basically, as a stencil, which most people think is completely nuts, and they've never thought about doing it. But whilst I would never encourage you making a brand of a handbag, do we all, are we all aware of a handbag that is red with white spots? And the only reason I'm mentioning it is, is because it's this kind of thing that it's perfect for. So if you wanted to make something that was red and white spotty, I would be putting sugar paste stickers on in white, airbrushing my cake red, and then taking the stickers off. And then it looks like it's red and white spots, but without the applique added spots, basically. Um, I haven't got a circle cut to hand either, so um, a nozzle, the end of a, a nozzle, really, really useful. If I can get it out the other end, we should be able to poke through. Um, Andrew, Andrew Babcock, all the colours are water-based. Um, let me just tell you about the fractal colours. They're suitable for vegetarian, vegans, and they're they've got a certified certificate for halal diets. Yeah, okay. So they are brilliant. So they're brilliant, and the colours are amazing. True. The colours are true to colour. Dawn will tell you. And when Dawn comes to use the shimmers, I'm not sure if she's going to use the shimmers tonight. Oh, yes. For sure. Oh, yes. But when she uses the shimmers and shows you those, they are stunning and um, absolute, absolutely fabulous. Yeah, the, what I really love about them is that usually a water-based colour is quite restrictive in what you can do with them. And when I was on the lookout for a set of colours um, to be manufactured under my label, to be fair, um, Carol pointed me in this direction and said, have you seen Fractal? Because they're absolutely amazing. Um, so massive thanks to Carol for that. Um, but they're ready to go. They were absolutely and utterly, truly amazing. Um, Fractal in this country were quite a little known about company. They're based in Hungary. And everything about them I utterly adored. So I was just like, I don't care if they're in my label or not. I just need them. I want yeah. them now. 
um, and it's good that did. you're using the airbrushes because I don't airbrush, but I use their gels, and their gels yeah. are beautiful. They're yeah. absolutely stunning. Dust gels. amazing. Pens, the dust amazing. Oh my word. Oh, the pens are great. Yeah. The pens have a really fine nib on them, so you can actually I'm genuinely going back have it. Yeah. So I've got. So my... Cora, yes, there is a gold for the airbrush. There's loads of colours. Um, while Dawn's just fitting these to the cake a minute, I'll just quickly tell you. All the Fractal colours are in the wish list tonight, or if you go onto our website, Brands, um, just search um, Brands for Fractal. Then when you go into there, there's four different sections. There's the Flow Air, which is the um, matte colours. There's the Shimmer, which is the uh, metallic and pearl colours. Then we have Dust. Then we have Gels. There's five sections because there's the pens as well. Um, they are super, super colours and when I introduced them to Dawn, I was so pleased that she actually thought the same as me because if anybody knows anything about colour, Dawn Butler knows it. Oh, bless you. And these work on chocolate as well, don't they Dawn? They work on absolutely, that's what I was saying, there's, there's very few water-based colours that will be as versatile as these will. Um, if anybody, whilst Carol was talking, just watched me, I was trying to stick um, one of these little stickers on the side and it wouldn't stick, it's because I've got cornflour on one side. So I flipped it to the other side, yeah. so it's a bit more sticky. Um, but yes, so they will go, those shimmer colours, the pearlised colours, behave <clears> like an ethanol colour, and they will basically go on to sugar paste, chocolate paste, actual chocolate, buttercream, macarons, um, meringues, they'll go on to all sorts of different surfaces. Oh, so that was good that you actually said that, Dawn, because Palvish just said, can you use these for buttercream cakes? Yes. And you can. Yes. I use these. I use the flow air on buttercream. Yeah. I use so just make well. sure, just make sure your cake is crusted and then spray on, and it's beautiful. The colours show up really, very, very well. Lindsay McIver's on. She's a massive fan. I introduced hey, Lindsay, Lindsay to them. Yeah. I introduced Lindsay to the colours as well. In fact, I've introduced so many of you guys to the colours, and I'm sure more than enough of you can jump on here now and say how much you love them. Whether it's the gels, if you don't airbrush and you're using the gels for your buttercreams, um, or whether you're using the pens, or whether you're using the dust, they are all true to colour. They really, really are. And what is absolutely stunning is um, the two-tone colours. Yeah. So when we're talking about the two-tone colours, what we're talking about is colours like golden sunrise, golden turquoise, firefly green, golden green, kingfisher, silver purple, um, and my favourite golden sunset, did I say that one? Yeah. Absolutely, truly, truly amazing. Because they spray two colours at one go. If you remember the dragon from the beginning of the evening, that basically was golden sunset uh, in one go. It wasn't red with gold over the top of it. Um, it was one colour sprayed once. Okay. So we've basically now got party time, not patty time, because we're not <laughs> sure who patty is, um, in, in the side of the cake. Can you see, look, it doesn't particularly matter that anything is nice and straight. And we've got our um, sugar paste stickers on. You see that they've stuck with no glue, but I did use corn flour, so you have to make sure Just that you get the Just before you start inside. spraying, can we see that clear enough? Or should we bring yeah. that back over here? No, no, it's fine. Over You're here. all right with it? Only because of the dark pink background. That's all I said. Whilst I'm spraying the whole cake, I can be here, to be honest with you. I just didn't want you to miss that. Yes. Okay. Didn't want you to miss me, how I was sticking on the side. But I'm turning again now, so you'll see it all from the top. Yeah. So, so just a quick question, it's great, Helen's on here, she's used on them on her marshmallows or Oreos or white Maltesers. Ice um, malt. Yeah, ice malt's great. Melanie says she loves the pens and the shimmer. Um, they are absolutely lovely. And the best before dates is, there's no sell-by date, the best before dates very, um, are from two to four years, depending on which product you buy in. Yeah, so they've so got, got a really, long life. really long life on them. Yeah. And that's a best before. You've got to remember, a best before is not a use by. A best before is when it's at its premium. After that, you it's how you look after it. Then if you keep it, if you keep the airtight lids on or the bag shut or whatever it is, it will stay it nice and fresh. Time. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're not, fully entitled to use a product for a paying customer. Yes, absolutely. Best befores are put on, if I'm really honest. They're put on so that manufacturers can sell their product quicker. Um, we do it as well, um, everybody does it, and it's because in these modern days now, everybody wants a time and a date on and a sell-by and whatever else, and it drives manufacturers mad because we'd rather not put it on because it doesn't really apply to us yeah. for a best before. 
and that's why you know you don't legally you're not entitled to have anything half price after a best before um, because there's actually nothing wrong with the product. No, that's right. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be on sale yeah. or anything. No. You're entitled to sell it at, at full, full price. price. Yeah. I once tried that with some Ferrero Rochers. I was like, but these, <laughs> these are right out of date. She went, yeah, I know. And you're having yeah. them at full price if yeah. you want them. Yeah, there's no, there's no, you don't have to sell anything at half price. No. But we all do because it just stops the moaning. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I've got Morpho Blue in here. This is one of the shimmer colours. So I love you that can colour. see I do. Absolutely love it. Um, so you can see now that it's got um, the pearlized sort of touch to it. Now then, if I was airbrushing this normally, we've got yellow on here. So actually we should be looking at is it going to affect the colour? And what you'll find is that it doesn't. I'm going to start at the top of the cake. And I'm working around in a circle. Can you see how far away I am from this project? Yes. If you go too close and build up too much colour, what will happen is, is you're going to start to split the colour. It's just You're just putting too much on it, can't cope with it. It's like having, um, basically, something really like a drip of water, like something's really heavy. It just can't cope with the volume and it will start to just slide down the side of your cake and it's just about too much, that's all. So you can see that I'm not covering everything entirely. I'm not expecting to cover it in one go. What I'm doing is just very gently going round. I'm now working my way around the cake and down towards the bottom. Can you see though that I'm still pointing down? I'm not horizontal. So my overspray is just getting caught onto the table. I'm not airbrushing Carol as much as I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're still so worried. There's days, there's days I could turn blue just on my own. I reckon. Without so. the help of an airbrush. <laughs> so you can see now that I've made it all the way down to the bottom. And I'm very, very gently just going to work my way back up to the top. We're already, look, we're still on one cup full of colour. I know it's amazing. One cup full of colour. I know. Done that there we are. Yeah. Yeah. So always, this is a brand new bottle, so I did give it a shake, but we'll just make sure. I always need to put it back in the holder. I know that you guys can't see the holder um, because these bottles are absolutely brilliant for. They're very tough, aren't they? Yeah, but they're what they're great for is that you twist it open and then literally I can drop that look one drop of colour at a time and if you're mixing colours that's what you need you don't want a bottle that's just going to absolutely go everywhere one it's expensive isn't it you're going to waste it what i need to do is change the angle now for things like the bottoms of the circles i don't know whether if i point this towards you and point it that way whether you can see the bottom of the circle yeah. so can you see how because i'm pointing down the circles are going to be an oval mm. instead yeah. So I do need to make sure that from all angles, I've really kind of picked that up. But now you can see, look, as we work our way up the cake, how it's covering all the colours. Just do it nice and steady. Don't get impatient. Tina Pine says, good, no one will end up like a Smurf then. <laughs> Only ever me and my fingers and my nostrils. Always got blue nostrils. <laughs> There's only one way to stop that, folks. That um, is the twist and push method. So Tony O'Grady says, can she use the new spray gun with the old dinky doodle? You certainly can. That was what I designed it for. For anybody that has got an old dinky doodle airbrush, I built them to last. And I didn't want you having to go out and buy a whole new set of everything. So yes, you absolutely can. And good day, Tony, because Tony's in ours as well. <laughs> So round we go, you see how we're now covering up all the colours, just be gentle with it. We could if we wanted to just leave this to one side for a bit and come back to it in a mouth. But we should just another coat to be able to build up that colour. So whilst, I mean I've got the pink cup attached, you only ever fill your airbrush half full. So we're only ever doing half cups at a time. But we're going through such a small amount of colour. It's so good that you said that because I would have come straight in and filled that up to the top. The whole thing. No. Yeah. Only ever, ever half a cup of colour. So this last coat now that we're doing is really kind of coating it and finishing it off. And I'm absolutely off. amazed how much you actually use. 
I, I've never used my airbrush either, Dawn, because I've been scared to death. <laughs> scared to <laughs> death. I keep looking at it. I let everybody else use it but me. <laughs> um, but it, it is, it's just it's just amazing how little colour you actually use. I know. I know. It Honestly, so so it goes so, 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 so far. And that's cheaper for um, sugar paste. You don't need to buy a no. navy blue sugar paste. or. No. And no, if I want to get color. that kind of rich colour, well, one, how are you going to get it, that colour yeah. anyway? If you were dusting it, it'd be absolutely everywhere. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it there for a sec and just see whether we need another coat with it when it's done. All I can see at the top is my fingerprints now, which we haven't got rid of. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to stick a bow on that, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> so let's put that to one side for a moment. And let's get out some kitchen paper. And we're going to make... I can't wait to see how blue and colourful my kitchen's going to be tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, on Monday, you know this lovely white kitchen that we've got? It may well be a different colour. Because <laughs> Dawn has got eight students in here tomorrow. <laughs> I was told I could, I could borrow the classroom provided I cleaned up. Why do you think I've brought my son? <laughs> And I'm it's going to be spotless because I'm doing a nifty nozzles class on Saturday. I know, exactly. <laughs> what I've done is got a sheet of um, wafer paper. Now, they come in different thicknesses. This is a pretty standard size. I've got a label somewhere. Daniel, would you just have a look on the packet or pass the packet towards on the other one? It's got the label on it. And we'll see whether it says what thickness it is. No. Yeah. We, we, we sell one yeah, yeah, which is quite that but, same as that. Yeah, but they do come in different thicknesses. So kind of be wary. It's what I would call a sort of mid-range. It's not really, really thick like card, and it's not transparent that you can see through it. But I will find out what grade it is for you. <laughs> oh, I'll just find it in way for face. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, basically, if I were to airbrush this with a water-based colour... Um, what happens is, is that it just all disintegrates on you and really easily you can saturate it. Um, I think we were going to go for a pink bow today, weren't we? Is that what we were going to do? I think we were. Oh, um, right, I've had blue in the airbrush, so should we clean that out a little bit and we'll do some cleaning. So the reason that I need to clean now is because I've gone with quite a dark colour and it's a shimmer colour, so it's pearlised. So really, I'm going to want to get rid of that and make sure that we're good to go on something else. I've got a cleaning station somewhere, here it is. So I put water in, that's all I've put in. And I'm gonna pull back with the trigger and then basically it's just gonna rinse it through. I would do that probably a couple of times. And then what I also do to dilute it is I block the end of my airbrush and I pull back with the trigger. And can you see the bubbles? So the bubbles there mean that I'm rinsing that through. I'm flushing out what's going on in here, up into this cup, and then letting that go. Now you don't need a cleaning station, but they make life a hell of a lot easier. Um, basically, I'm getting rid of, by pulling back the trigger, I'm getting rid of all the waste stuff in this cup. Will you stop playing with your boobs? Well, it's because, as Maureen Smith says, there goes Carol again, playing, go, going through her drawers again. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to come back here, sit down and readjust, readjust. yourself. <laughs> I can't tell you how distracting it is. <laughs> I don't quite know where to put the eyes. So I've been playing with my drawers, readjusting myself, and now back in position on the wrong side of Laura. Oh, it's still feels Just weird. weird. Does, Does it, it feel really weird? Yeah. yeah. Definitely is like an answer deck moment. Yeah, it really is. is. I think yeah. so. <laughs> It's like when you're on that side and you stand on the other side of the present, like the yeah. wooden door, you yeah. need to switch sides, that throws me as well. <laughs> uh, like so it. I've got coral pink here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was told we've not got nearly enough pink in this kitchen today. <laughs> so again, I'm giving that a good shake. I'm going to twist that open and just pop half a cup in that. Always, always checking my colour. So this is what this paper's for. And there's my pink look. We're good to go. So Tina Pine says, can the cleaning station be used with any airbrush? Yes, absolutely. As long yeah. as you've not got a big industrial thing and it fits in that hole, then yes, yeah. and most airbrushes do. And the fractal colours can be used with any airbrush. Yes, absolutely. We would like to be, to be using the dinky doodle, but if you've got any <laughs> other one, you can. <laughs> so, there are two sides to a piece of wafer paper. One is a textured kind of rougher surface. The other is a shiny surface. And I've generally found that bows work better a certain way round. 
So I've got the shiny surface uppermost, mm. and I'm just going to spray pink. Ooh, I like that. Oh, no, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Then I'm going to turn it over. You see how it started to curl? Yeah. But I can now spray the other side pink. Ooh, I if like you that. don't go too mad, what that now allows us to do is move it and bend it. Yeah. If I literally curl this in like that. so, yeah. gently press that for a couple of seconds. It's like making um like making a bow, you know that like a, a wreath like a yeah. charity loop bow. Yeah. That's all I'm doing with it. And I've pressed that for two seconds. That's all also glued. Good on it. So how quick is that? If you oversaturate it, it'll sag. Just put a little a bit, bit of, um, you know one of those makeup sponges? Just put one of those in there. Oh, but I've worked out that if you fold it with the rougher side uppermost, it has more stability than if you put that on the inside. So That's Irene, yes, there. we do sell the cleaning station. We sell the pen, we sell the airbrush, we sell the fractal colors, we sell Watch the tree stamps. So basically those two pieces go in like so. Hold it together and it's already glued and done. Do another one of those. Now you're quite right Pat, the cleaning station does not bounce. If you decide to bounce it, you will <laughs> smash it just like you did. <laughs> oh dear. It's only like a drinking glass. Anything else? But it does go in the dishwasher. Yes. So at least you can wash it up once you've emptied it out. So again, look, we'll just pull that together like that. You don't want to watch me make no. hundreds of those. So Lane Green says, did you only clean the cup when you did the dark colour? Yes, I only, you're rinsing it through. That's what you're yeah. doing is rinsing it through. And what I did was by blowing bubbles, blowing back in any residue that was stuck in the front of the pen should basically be re reduced back into it. We're using another colour, so we're just getting on with it. It's not the same as cleaning the airbrush at the end of the day. And it's certainly not the same as stripping it. So if we have time in a bit, I'll do that for you, yeah. just so that we know that it's done. Yeah. I've now cut, look, thinner strips, basically. And what I'm gonna do is airbrush down one side. Now we could be dead clever. And when I flip it over, I could airbrush <laughs> on the other side. Remind me, I might do that in a bit. Could do that. Should we do nice. a couple like that? So let me just do this, and then when I run out of paint, remind me, and we'll put another colour in. I've got so much colour left. It's not <laughs> going anywhere. So these strips that I'm doing, I know you're going to wonder what on earth it is that I'm up to, but. We'll have some kingfisher on the other side, shall we? Mm -hmm. Marie's just gone to heaven when you said that. She's in love with her face. What's that? Is that a kingfisher top? Oh. I know, I love it's this. It's almost like you give her a cake then. Yeah. I know. That's not not try to airbrush her almost. face. Almost. Almost. She's almost forgiven me now. I've used kingfisher. <laughs> I think so. I know. So I'm going to flip this one over. It's a bit thin and curly. But by airbrushing the other side, we'll get it together. It's fine. So look at that. Beautiful. So one colour on one side, one colour on the other. Come on, I've just wiped mine. No. Nice. Oh, we are blue. Blue up my oh, nose. Stop. <laughs> oh, we are. Look. <laughs> you don't even want to know. Your nose. You don't even want to know. with me because I forgot my wooden bamboo. I've got big like wooden dowels and I would ordinarily use those, not a pencil. Um, but it's not going on a cake, so we're fine. Um, but whilst basically I have only just airbrushed it, it's still soft enough for me to wrap around the pencil. It will feel like it's going to stick, don't worry about it. Once it's dry, actually this one is a little drier than normal anyway, but once dry, um, it will just pop off. So you're absolutely fine. 
Don't you add my kitchen roll to clean your nose with. <laughs> We're quite happy for Maria to look at it, walking around with a blue nose. But Laura and I... <laughs> Do you know, I thought, because you're wafting that right at me and Laura, <laughs> every uh -huh. time that brush come up, uh -huh. it did it, didn't she? Uh -huh. I don't know what you're on about. Can I just, can we just bring it back to point, please? <laughs> How gorgeous, pack it in. How gorgeous is that? No, we're not talking about the contents of our flipping tissues. Go, that's beautiful. Can Sorry. I have some? <laughs> Sorry, shall I run this myself? Please may I have some thumbs up and some love hearts because I think this is quite pretty. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that wall of blue. Even one of them showing me the contents of the tissues. Let's stop it. But how easy was that, folks? So all we've done is very thank easy. you. No, it Seriously, it was my moment yeah. for excitement and you've just... I've got to get on the other side of Laura, I'm safer. And I reckon so you're getting a full blast there. Um, so, Kaz Gibson wants to know why I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side because we're on the other setup of the kitchen. And if I sit on the side I normally sit, which is the left of Laura, I can't see what Dawn's doing. I've now realised I'm the right of Laura, right in front of Dawn, who is airbrushing Blue Morph up my nose. <laughs> Let's see tomorrow. You know, it's just a little blue character more. Well, yes, it means there's no blue <laughs> over me. Yeah. On Tony Hart, yeah, there's more. Yeah, there's it was blue. But there's no blue on me. There's no, no blue on my clothes. Why is that? No, because you're breathing in with your nose. <laughs> you've got great big fat nostrils. <laughs> I just said there's none on my clothes, none on my chest, none on so my hands. I've, back to point. I've um, wrapped this one the other way around, look. Oh, so I've wrapped one with the blue nice. on the outside and one with like blue that. on the inside. <laughs> But how easy is that? <laughs> I think that whole airbrush has gone up my nose. in my line of fire. I am, I'm going to move. Um, <laughs> and that was one that was all pink, look. That's beautiful. I will say, Dawn, absolutely they beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. But how I've easy got, is it? just got a slight problem at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bless oh, her. Oh, <laughs> so, um, like I said, you would be using something that's far more safe than uh, a pencil. <gasps> is it on my tongue? <laughs> <laughs> my tongue? <laughs> <laughs> is it on my tongue? Right, I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm glad I've not got makeup on at all yet. I want my Laura's Laura's got bless her. All her eyes done up. She's in bits now. She looks like we've got we've got a raccoon over here. Oh my god. And a smurf over here. And I think I'm getting blue all over my face. Right. I haven't done loads of these bows because we've been too busy faffing around. <laughs> But um, straight away, look, you saw that they were ready. I'd glued them together with my fingers, press the fingers and we're done. Just to take off the excess that I don't want, I'm cutting them into a point, basically. And I would carry on like so. All they then need is a little dab of glue. Um, to be fair, if you crack on with this dead quick, they will be damp enough that you can just press and that'll stick the two together. Um, but these have now dried because these two distracted me. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm not distracting them, sat <laughs> down here, out of the way. Um, but basically what I'm doing when I'm layering up this bow is I'm working myself around in a circle. And then let's say that I've got two here, the next one goes like that look. Wow, I like that. Yeah? I'll take this green bow apart in a minute and I'll put it back together. No, and we'll, finish it we'll, up like that. Well, we will do. We will do. Yeah. Um, but we'll get some resemblance of order. Now Daniel's blowing his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Maria's checking hers in the oven reflection. <laughs> Honestly. Have I got blue nostrils? Honestly. No. Have I? So. Dawn. I 
I told you, it might be the last time oh that you see Lord. me in this kitchen. <laughs> Honestly. I've never laughed so much. Oh. My stomach's actually aching. So, I'm basically now just taking a scribe tool, which just means that I don't need to dig my fingers into anything. And I'm just going to take off these little spots. Has she gone out there to blow her nose? She's to wash her face. Bless her. I'm going to have to see a bottle of water. I can't breathe. I hope we've not. Is there anybody still out there? Or have you all switched <laughs> oh, off? People think we're absolutely mad. Honestly. You should know me by now. I'm bonkers. If we've got any new vi viewers tonight, I think it might be the first and last time we watch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a professional cake decorator. I really am. Oh, goodness me. <clears throat> So Sorry, right. well, also... Lorraine Baker says, I don't know who the comment, but this is so hilarious. Reminded me of the first time I used an airbrush in a class and everyone was showing each other their tissues. Yes, <laughs> yes. I it's get, not just us. I get posts on my <clears throat> Facebook page when people have done a class with me for the day Whoa. that say, um, mine was green, mine was blue, mine was orange. Should we move this to the other camera? So I think she's got me back because I took her out for tea before and I said, Dawn, you've got some up your nose. She said, is it blue? <laughs> she's got payback time. I am. I am, I am, I am. Look, can this, you see this? Yeah, the art that was the absolutely tea. Absolutely amazing. You can't see it. No. You can't tell, can you? No. Talk? Absolutely Thankfully, fantastic. It was a letter that I could use to kind of cover it up. But these literally just pop out. So always use a little scribe tool or something. And I'm assuming you can just wash them through with hot soapy water exactly. just to. Yeah. Exactly. No problems at all. Yeah. I have to say that's fantastic. It's I always amazing. make sure that it's nice and dry before I put them back in the container yeah. little set. And I don't know about you, but I then put cling film over the top of my set. Yeah. Just so that it stops them from going anywhere. But how easy is that? Absolutely. I give you your due. So fantastic. Effective. And I did it with all I did it I know, with, with all, all that distraction. <laughs> <laughs> how long has it taken? A few minutes. How long? Well, well, we're both we'll been going an hour and seven minutes. Well, an hour. Yeah, we've done. Really. Yeah. Um, I'll carry on with the, the with the bow, kind of, if you want me to. Yeah. But um, it's absolutely stunning that. Boats, the effect how is easy amazing. is it? How easy is it? It's about being gentle. If I wasn't gentle, and the underside colour was not dry, then I couldn't put the the fondant, the sugar paste stickers on the top. If you want to go mad and go darker, no problem, but you're going to have to wait for the cake to dry before you can put those on. Then you can't put party time in. If you put party time in whilst that cake is wet, when you pull the colour out, you're likely to affect the colour underneath when you then pull it. It might look like a sponged effect and it might kind of give it a different effect anyway, but if you want a nice kind of gentle ombre, this is the way to go. It doesn't have to be always these colours. I've selected blue to show you how it will go over yellow and that it's not going to turn green but I have also chosen quite a dark colour. It wants to be a bright yeah. colour, it wants to be a solid colour and yeah. it wants to be a shim air colour, not a flow air colour. Yes. Um, because it needs that pearlised to really kind of make it pop. So why wouldn't you, yeah. to be fair? I love the fact that there's no applique stuff added to it so you yeah. don't know how it's been done. Well, I have to say, <clears throat> that's what Laura, Maria and I said how the hell has she done yeah. that? We were all like, how has she done that? And that is fantastic. You've made it so simple. It's so it clever. And it's not it's none so of that clever. was hard, was no. it? The, no. the hardest thing to this cake was spelling party. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest. No, but you have made, you've made a fabulous cake there so simple. I feel that we yeah. can do that. Well, I, I think you could. What you yeah. need to do <laughs> is that is the gentle spraying. Yeah. yeah. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Practice on paper. You can practice all day on paper then transfer it to a cake. Practice on a board. It wouldn't yeah. matter, would it? If you'd iced the board up, let's do a board, see how that goes, and then we'll worry about the cake afterwards. But yeah. honestly, it's dead yeah. easy. Tina Pye says it reminds her, it's the same. Do you remember when you used to colour on paper yeah. different colours, and then you'd colour it all over the black crayon, yeah. and then you got a coin Expert, and straight Expert, it up, yeah. did yeah. the wax crayon? Yeah. yeah, that's right. They it's did like those colouring books as well, didn't they? Yes. That you yeah. could do that you kind of stuff. Yeah. So I'd, I'd originally thought about doing it with different colours and maybe using alcohol on a Q-tip yes. and then washing it away yes, or well even just leaving it I white. To be honest, that's what we thought you'd done. 
That's what we thought he'd done. So Andy, Karen, uh, where do you get the letters from? They're called Sweet Stamps. They're on our website. Are they in the wish list, Maria? No, I will put them in the wish list now. Yes, but they, they are absolutely in the wish list. And the set that Dawn has used tonight is the stylish set. You can use them for lots of Remember, different things. Remember, Dawn, stylish. Yeah. It's just what you expect you to come together. You can use them for lots together. of different things. Um, we've had loads of different variations of using them with non parallels Valerie and Christine were here last week and they used them with buttercream. We had a lady on that flooded them with gel. And Dawn has done it this way, so fantastic way of using them. Is Amy still with us? Amy if she is still is, with us. How did I do, joy. Amy? Did I do all right? Yes. <laughs> oh, Ellen is <laughs> my granddaughter from Australia. Just gonna tell her. So my granddaughter from Australia has just uh, joined us. So everybody's saying really effective, great fun, thanks. You're very welcome. I wanted to save it for a top dollar class. <laughs> but I'm giving it away for free. That's how good I am. So we're going to finish the bow? Yes, what I'm doing whilst you you're all talking um, is I'm just doing a few more bits on the bow. So whilst they're a different colour, I don't think that matters. You can do exactly the same with this bow in the two colours, by the way. One on the inside, one on the outside. But also kind of mix them up to do a few colours. I love coral pink and kingfisher together oh, yeah. it's a really really lovely combination um, I used to do this technique by the way in the bakery back when I was 17 I know only three years ago it doesn't seem that far and we used to do it with sugar paste we used to do sugar paste rolled out thinly in one colour sugar paste rolled out thinly in another colour put them back to back put strips and twist them around a pencil mm. or, a, or a, um, we used to do the same thing <laughs> how much easier is that yeah. And they can be Fantastic. stored. You could, yeah. if you've got too many, just store them. Mm -hmm. Store them in a little Tupperware container. Um, the silica gel works well. Just curling up. Fantastic. So, guys, while Amy, uh, while Amy, while Dawn is just put, um, spraying up the wafer paper here, um, anybody who's looking on everything that we're using tonight, so we're talking about the Dinky Doodle airbrush the pen, the cleaning station, the fractal colours, that's what Dawn's here to show you tonight. Um, it's everything is on the wish list. So if you head over yeah. to our um, website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, at the top there is shop, brands, celebrations and other things. Go along to you see Facebook Live. Press Facebook Live, a drop down menu will appear. This month's lives and then go into Dawn Butler. In Dawn Butler's section, everything is there, okay? So anything you want to use, will, anything you want to buy that Dawn has used tonight is in that section. So we're just folding up these last few. I'd literally just been airbrushing them, popping them to one side, and they were drying straight away. They are drying quick. Yeah, really quick. just want a little bit of moisture on the ends, that's all, to kind of glue them. That's all I'm actually after. While we're doing that, let's just show this um, dragon cake again. While we're doing that. Is he too close to it up here? Just let me move that up a bit Don't mind that way. Oh, oh. You see there? So, yeah. Dawn is actually doing a class tomorrow on this fabulous dragon cake. So I think I've got him in there, in view. Let's just see. Yes. And I'm ever so excited because I'm on the glass too, isn't he a cutie? And edible paper wings there. Everything here, there's no um, structure in this, this is all cake. So tomorrow the class is going to learn cake carving, real cake, okay, ganaching, chocolate, because I think it's got a chocolate... It's all chocolate paste, the whole thing is covered yeah. in chocolate paste. Yeah. yeah, and look at that. We're using the Katie Sue moulds, which is the dragon skin and the dragon claws for this lovely effect. How beautiful is that? And can anybody now spot how the wings might have been done? <laughs> how easy go. are they going to be? Yeah, absolutely. So tomorrow night we will be doing a little live. We'll be showing you what everybody makes tomorrow. So we're hoping to finish the class around about six o'clock and then we're going to come on and show you what everybody's made and how they enjoyed the class. And we're going to convince Dawn to come back again. Look at those claws as Can well. Can I tell you something though? We say it's going to run till six. I have Carol in the class. <laughs> yes. And we're airbrushing. She's going to be blowing her nose every five seconds. 
I don't feel we're going to get finished on time. I could have a party time nose tomorrow with all the things going on. You could. So, anyhow, Dawn has got a little competition on. Do you want to tell them, Dawn? Yes, yeah, so I am still running. I've been running it for a couple of weeks now, and I haven't yet, I'm sorry, gone through everybody that's still there. So we'll still carry on for this weekend only. But if you want to add what you think the dragon should be called, you will win, if your name is chosen, a space on one of my dragon classes, a free space, either at the Cape Tail Club in London or with me at home in Nottingham. Um, so they're on sort of specified dates. Hopefully you're available. I've now got Kingfish, I've got beautiful Have blue hands. Have you got a dragon gorgeous. class in Edinburgh in April? Or in, or any I'm class? up to the, um, I'm going to the British Sugarcraft Guild. So in April, I think it's the 9th or the 10th of April, what I'm doing is going to the British Sugarcraft Guild to go and demonstrate in the evening followed by a workshop the next day. Members are obviously will be getting in there first, but it is also open to non-members as well. Take a look on my website and you'll find that there's a link on there to take you through to the guys that you need to book with. Um, but we have confirmed that there is a full double height airbrushed cake that we're gonna do on the workshop day, and you'll get that at a bargain price because it's BSG. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, question for you. How do you get the colour off your hands, Dawn? That's by Susan McCrane. So, Susan, I use Vanish Oxy Action. Basically, it doesn't have to be a brand name. It can be a cheap sort of supermarket brand. But it is that um, stain remover that's the powder formula for your clothes. You put some warm water in the sink, put a scoop of that in there, a scoop, <coughs> bless you, a scoop in your hands, rub it together and they come off sparkly clean. Perhaps when these guys do some questions or whatever at the end, I'll quickly do it and you'll see that it really does work. Also, I oversaturated this one a little bit. So I've given my Morpho Blue a little hat. <laughs> He's now in a hood. Um, but that's perfect to allow it to dry because I haven't got anything else lying around. But it's just enough to kind of let it sort of still sit in that um, bell shape. Warren Smith just told me to go and push some earplugs up my nose. Yeah, <laughs> earplugs is a good one. How do I breathe? I've already got a blue tongue. That's not essential. <laughs> not essential at all. Right, now that we've got some more of these little curls, we can hopefully sort of assemble a bow and we'll work out on the other one how many there actually is. Um, so as, as I said, they will be in different colours. But what you're looking at doing is just putting kind of point to point, really. Did you bring any party time biscuits with you? No. Oh. I ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure whether you were going to show the complete uh, adding all the biscuits, but that's easy enough, isn't it? They're yeah. just sticking yeah. biscuits on. And it could be dolly mixtures or oh, it, but jelly anything, beans anything or anything, anything that you love. Yeah, it? absolutely yeah. anything you love. In fact, I might pull a couple of the macarons off though and we'll airbrush some of those up. Yeah. But let's say that I stuck all those down here. I would then be looking at the next one going in between them. Mm. And it's so that it points upwards, look. And it's then so the next one goes in between that, look. Yeah, How that. much does that look? That looks just like that. It's brilliant. How long has it taken? So it takes longer, I think, to cut the bits of paper and airbrush <laughs> yeah. them all up. <laughs> Probably. Um, than it does to sort of get it together and assemble it, basically. So a few of the people for cleaning their hands uses Oxy powder or yeah, hand same sanit thing. or use hand sanitizer. Yep, yep, same sort of thing. Uh, good idea to use a nursing hospital mask. <laughs> it is. I can't demo in one of those. No. Should look into it. Demo in one of those because you wouldn't. You just wouldn't see what it is that I'm talking about. Um, but in all seriousness, you shouldn't really ever have anything up your nose. Um, in your lungs should only ever be air, mm. never icing sugar, never no. airbrush colour, not even water. Mm. Um, when I eventually pop my clogs and I have a post-mortem, I am going to be a phenomenon of what is going on <laughs> inside here because it's going to be a multitude of colours. Um, so ideally, folks, what we should be doing is put the mask on. Yeah, we should. Um, but I never do. No. It's not that any of it's harmful. Ice and sugar isn't harmful, it's edible, but we shouldn't have it in our lungs, basically. So Lisa Miles is saying, is the airbrush easy to set up? So when we finish putting all this together, yes. I'm going to get Dawn to show you how she cleans her airbrush and maybe connect it all up together. So we'll let's put do this that. over on one side. I don't think anybody wants to watch me make any more bow. No. No, that was like, no. <laughs> no, we <laughs> do, we do, not we? No. We want to watch you put it together. You're bored. Right, wait a minute. Have you got the camera on there, Laura? Watching Dawn put it together? 
Obviously, this would have been glued. We'll just kind of stick it. Do you want some glue? No, we're all right. It's not going anywhere. We'll just kind of put together like that. And we haven't got enough for the other bits. Are you doing a dragon class at Patrick Cutters? Oh, yeah. There's a lady there. The There's a lady class. here. Um, Maria Ellert. Marie Ellert is um, on your dragon class at Patrick Cutters. Yay! Um, one of our ladies who's coming to the class tomorrow has only just managed to join the live. She's right, had yeah. trouble getting up the motorway. Oh dear. Due to various accidents on the motorway. That's Wendy. I haven't seen anybody else who's on here for a full class tomorrow, so maybe they're all stuck in traffic. Maybe. Got people coming from maybe all over they're tomorrow. in bed having an early night. Yes. They know Ready how for their long day tomorrow. it's going to be tomorrow. We've not even put this on a nice little board. Um, but we could just basically put those around. Draw the board for it. I've got that black gloss one somewhere. Where's that gloss? That'll do me. Yeah. Oh, she's got me one. Yeah. Right. Take that. You see how I can already touch this cake, love? Yeah. Yeah, so we're not talking that anything's completely and utterly saturated at all. But dead, dead simple to kind of put together. Okay. The reason that I've got the original one is going down the sides is because I thought I'd stick some party rings on the top. I didn't like it, but I dug into the cake by then. <laughs> so they covered over the mess that I'd made. Um, a good cake decorator is not really a good cake decorator. What they're good at is covering up their mistakes. <laughs> it's basically the plan. Um, right, what did you want to see? What were we going to do? Oh, put the airbrush um, together. Yeah, put the airbrush together. Put the airbrush together and it. we'll take the airbrush apart. How's yeah. about that? Yeah. So, basically when you're getting the airbrush out of the box, what you need to do is plug the power cord into the back. When you've got power to it, it should beep. I don't know if you all heard that, but there's a tiny little beep. The hose should already be connected at one end, but basically there's two ends to this hose, a blank end and then a metal connected end. You'll notice that the airbrush here, I've given it a metal pipe. I used to have a plastic pipe on them and of course that could be susceptible to breaking if you dropped it on the floor. This one obviously then a little bit more robust. On the front you've got three power settings. So we've got an on switch. Can you hear the change in noise? That turns it that then back off. Ooh, you could play songs there, couldn't you? Yeah. Like an organ, then. <laughs> That's a very tuneful organ. <laughs> um, but basically, if I'm going for a full on cake, let's get on with it, we might as well turn the power up. If I want to write my name with it and I want to go nice and gentle, then I'm going to want as little power as possible. That's basically that. It's got a holder on the side that you'd be slotting your airbrush into when you're not using it, okay? Loads of people try and readjust a stencil or do all sorts of things and they've got their airbrush in their hand whilst they're doing it. Well, where do you think that's going? Everywhere. So put it down, do what you're doing with both hands, then pick it back up again, okay? This is the easy release connector, which basically means, and I've not needed it tonight, but I'm, I'm a bit greedy, look. And I've got several. And the reason that I've not is that I was halfway through doing a little project before we came on air. So I left the colour that I'd mixed in that one. So that one's on one side. And um, then I've got another pen in case I needed it. So you know when we were doing those two tones of colours? So I was doing pink on one side, blue on the other side. I'd have pink in one airbrush and I'd have blue in the other. And then I can literally do one, flip, the other and then twist it and it's all in done instead of it allowing to go dry. So really useful for that. And what you're going to do is that you pull with your two fingers downwards and it unclips. Pull the barrel again downwards and it clips back on again. So it allows me to switch out my pens dead easy. So that's part of the reason that I do this hot pink pen is because you've always then got more than one. Because at three o'clock in the morning, it'll spit on you or something will happen and you'll have a cake to go out in a couple of hours. So it's easier just to switch the pens out. The other reason, obviously, is to allow me to be doing several things in one go. Okay, so that I can switch out those colours straight away. But also, something that Carol may not know about these pens, is that this pen here comes with what we call a 0.3 needle. Now, if you imagine, like piping tips, 
0 0.0 is the smallest, 0 0.5 is the largest. This is a nice mid-range 0.3. This one is a 0.4. So actually, it's a little bit larger, which means that if you've got a colour that's maybe thicker than something else, the consistency is a bit thicker, you've just got a little bit more of a helping hand with a 0.4. Now, it's not just about it being pink. If uh, it'll do all the jobs that you would normally expect it to do, that's no problem at all. It will basically do all of those. Oh, hang on, Daniel's... What you got? Oh, thanks, Matt. He's very <laughs> useful. Yes, so, isn't he? And he's been so good. He's watched the whole session, which and is I great. Miss him. He's not been stuck on his phone or anything. So here's the black pen that you get inside the kit, and it comes with a nine cc pink cup with a lid. It also comes with a smaller cup, so they are interchangeable. We can unscrew that and change it out and switch it for a normal one. So let's say that I was doing some, you've seen how little color we've used tonight. So actually for anything but that big part of blue, I could have had that purple cup on, couldn't I? And then when I'm doing that full color all the way around the cup, then that's when I switch to the blue. So it does come with the two cups. Brownie points for Daniel. Um, the pink one isn't just about it being pretty and pink. Yes, it's lovely if you've got another airbrush that's perhaps a bit dull and boring, but you don't want to replace the compressor. Just the pen, very useful, large 9cc cup. But what I want you to start thinking about is colour and how I attach things memory-wise for colour. So for me, it's a large cup, has a larger needle, and that one is the pink one. When I then release the purple one, you'll know that it's got a smaller cup, therefore a smaller needle. When I release the teal one, if it has a larger cup, it could be an even larger needle. If it has a smaller cup, it could be an even smaller needle so on and so forth. And at some point you will have a full collection to be able to do your detailed stencils right through to your 12 tiered cakes. So Maureen Smith, yes, you can buy the extra pens, they're on our website, yes. okay? You can buy the pink one. This um, one. The other ones are not out yet. Dawn's talking about future pens coming out, but she's got the black one that comes with the kit, which comes with a pink cup, doesn't the it? pink cup and the purple cup. And the purple cup, yeah. So you get the and two. then you've got the, um, pink pen that we have as an extra pen as yep, well as an added accessory and four of our students have appeared on our have facebook they? Line now. they're all getting up local please so. still come tomorrow <laughs> even if you now know what you're up for <laughs> please so we've please got a class of eight students up. in here tomorrow a full class um, we're fully booked and uh, I can't wait to see what colour my kitchen is going to be tomorrow <laughs> now you know. now be good what at that did cleaning, you do Daniel? with my kitchen roll Oh, well, sorry, I cleaned my nose with it around So, when we're cleaning an airbrush then, I'm mm. going to take it apart for you and we'll have um, it on a, a piece of kitchen paper when we take it apart, okay? But first of all, I do need to put some water in it and get the cleaning station out because we just need to rinse out the little bit of stuff that's left in there. So give that a good rinse. So if you remember, we were rinsing that through and then we blew some bubbles, didn't we? And the bubbles basically were just to flush out that bottom part of the... Oh, I can use this. So just let me tell you, the cradle is extra and you can use the, can use the airbrush on, an, on any other airbrushes. As long as it's a single action airbrush. Mine's yeah. a single action compressor. It needs a single action pen to go with it because the two pens are slightly different. So as long as at home you know you've got a single action airbrush, you're okay. So let me, I know we'd said that what the sort of single action, double action are, but let me go through it again. Single action airbrush requires one action to make it work. It's always got air and all I need to do is pull the trigger back to get the colour. I'm not going to spray anybody. <laughs> if it's a dual action airbrush, when you turn the compressor on, you might get a buzz and then it stops. You have to push down to get the airflow and at the same time as pushing down, pull back to get the colour. That's a dual action airbrush, completely different thing. And then the other thing is the colours. Um, I don't sell them in sets anymore. I sell them singly, but I have done a discount on all the, from the recommended retail price. So they are cheaper than the recommended retail price. Do pop over to the website. They are there. But just let you know, anybody who is buying an airbrush tonight gets a free set of mini Fractal colours. And if you watch Dawn on this session, that mini set will actually last you quite a long yeah, time. Yeah, it is. It's loads. And you're getting in that set red, yellow, blue. There's your primary colours. Black, Daniel's pointing at them. 
Red, yellow, blue, there's your primaries. Black and white, you can now lighten and darken. And of course, you've also got black and white. And then pearl and gold. How's about that? So this is something that I did when I launched the airbrush. And I will get more in stock. Just thanks, Sandor. Get me some more sorted. <laughs> um, I've just sold out. So basically, Carol's the only one with those. But if you did order from me, you get a handwritten note. And a warm, fuzzy feeling. And if you do order from me, you get a free bag of icing sugar. You see. As well as get the free, as well as the free um, colours. But so, Carol's bought them from me, so honestly, we both yeah, win. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, either way. It's fine. Um, so the holder we do sell, the pen, the pen holder we do sell. And the cleaning station. We sell station the extra sell. pen. We sell the cleaning station. Yep. And Dawn is going to show you how to use the clean, cleaning station, Pauline Thomas. I've just, just done, I've just done it. We've just done it. We've done yeah, it. Yeah, all I'm doing, the cleaning station is just a jar with a lid yeah. in it. And all I do is put it in there and pull the trigger back. And it basically just is a container for the colour. Do you want to show them again? Yeah. Because I didn't see it. I was yes. too busy cleaning my I know, I, you were. <laughs> Readjusting my boots. You were. But basically, <laughs> look, I don't know if you can see that, but that's just contained all of the muck and stuff that should have been up Carol's nose. Ooh. I've stopped that from going up Carol's Ooh. nose, basically. <laughs> Um, it's got a little filter in the lid, so whilst it's not essential, you could be using an empty coffee cup, you could be using a soup container, put a lid in the top. Um, this one has got a little filter in it as well. Pour that down the sink, put these both parts in the dishwasher, lid and bottom. When you get this, folks, you get a little stand here that pops out of here, that basically when you've got your airbrush in it, it supports the weight so that nothing tipples over and it also supports the airbrush it's like a little fork that the airbrush kind of sits into basically um but yeah if it's attached and i get some water in here so just to let you know we don't sell the mini fractals on their own it was just something that dawn got fractal to produce as a special yes and it was a special it. to go with it when we launched the airbrushes um, and what we did is we've got, I've still got some left, so with what airbrushes I've got left, I've still got some of these sets and I'm happy to give and them away. And when they're gone, they're gone. When they're gone, they're gone, yes. yes. Um, it's, it's not profitable really for us to make them. Um, it's like everything. No, but I wanted smaller. to introduce fractal colours to you was what yeah. I wanted to do, basically. If you were already had an airbrush or you weren't, you hadn't got those free colours, what you'd be looking at getting as a basic set is those kind of things. So red, yellow, blue, essential. If you're getting blue, you're getting sky blue. Always get the lighter shade of something if you're starting out because you can always darken something a little easier than you can. You won't want to mix with a royal blue or an indigo blue. It would just be too dark for you. The other thing is, I think if you want to know how good the fractal colours are, you'll see everybody on here. There's loads of people who've bought them. Since well, we've Dawn, seen since Dawn, how good they are tonight. They're yeah. lovely, aren't they? Since Dawn and I have introduced them, um, it was only last year that we introduced them. Yeah. Since we introduced them, they have sold for fun. And I have not had one single complaint about them at no, all. No, we love them. And there's plenty of people watching tonight who's commented who've actually got the fractal colours. And that should be enough for you to convince you to go over and buy them. Um, so, the cleaning station... Would you change the filter on the cleaning station? It does come with spare little filters, but you can just wash them. So there's no reason to, to, to keep changing them. As it's not, we're not frying chips anywhere near it. It's literally, you're just using it. It gets colour in it. So I just put the whole thing in the dishwasher when I'm done. Um, Linda Mills is asking, uh, Linda Miles is asking, can you use the fractal colours in your ink printer? Mm, I would think you should just keep two cartridges. Yeah, it's printer. getting them in. We need to ask fractal colours if they'll start doing cartridges. That oh. would be fab, wouldn't it? Yeah. But you need to get them in there and get them sealed. So, yeah. yeah. So I, I would I use... I wouldn't no. do that, no. no. Right then, shall I take this airbrush apart for you? Okay. So we can obviously unscrew this cup. If we wanted to, we can make sure that we've run that under the tap. We can put a paintbrush around here just to kind of clean that up. We could also then run this through the tap. So under the tap and put a paintbrush in here just to kind of clean that up. But if we get really, really close and I undo both ends of this airbrush, can you see where my little finger is beyond the blue that there's a needle? And watch what happens when I pull back the trigger. Can you see it disappear? And back again. Did you see it disappear? 
It's really hard to pick up because it's so small. I know, yeah. it's tiny, isn't you it? You can clean your fingers to lock it up. No. <laughs> Do you see it there? Uh, no, no. just bring it up to the camera. Let's see if I can bring it up here. Yeah. Oh. They got Dawn's oh, mouth teeth. Yeah, we've got everything in here, sorry. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm gone. Honestly. <laughs> I can't go up, I'm no, sure. All right, I'll change the camera angle. Right, yes. try again. Oh, what am I doing now? Every time I move, you move. I know, but you're pulling it miles away. She's so only tiny. a little one. No, I'm tilting. I know, oh, but I'm right. so but can tiny. Can we get it to she's stretched over the counter? Yeah, yeah but every yeah. time when you what stretch about this? too much, it just blurs. Well, don't what about soon? this? I'm here. Can you get it down here? Yeah. Can you see it? I've built it up far too much now, it's not worth right, watching. Right, see where my little finger is? Yep. This is the needle, watch it disappear. Yep. Yeah, we got it. Okay? Perfect. So that's how tiny a hole we are talking about. Yeah? That is as small as a gnat's backside. Can you see why? Are we past nine o'clock yet? Can I say gnat's backside? Yep, you yes. can't. Are you going to tell the white splutters and things like that? Oh, yes. Because they don't clean properly. So. Can you imagine why I don't recommend now that you put luster dust and alcohol through the airbrush? Because the hole is so small. When we mix luster dust and alcohol, it's fine, isn't it, for 30 seconds, and then it changes consistency. That's going on in your airbrush, basically. So it's never going to make it out of that hole cleanly, is it? If I've got a problem with my airbrush and it's spluttering, I need to just move that needle in and out a little bit and see if I can clear the blockage. But that's quite often what's going on. The other time that it spits is because you've filled this cup too full, basically. So if this cup gets too full, it can't cope with it. It's like a little child that has a mouthful of water. <laughs> and it spits everywhere. Don't you dare freeze this Facebook demo. Live. <laughs> I love that demo. <laughs> Don't freeze that Facebook Live on me and that face. Um, but basically it's too full so it can't cope with it. So it's going to splutter out, it can't cope. Then, the third reason that it splutters. So the first is blockage, two is your cup's over full, and three is that colour gathers in the end just here, basically. And what's happening is, it's like the bottom of a drain pipe, and if you imagine it's raining, that it all gathers at the bottom, and then every now and again it'll drip, because there's a lot of colour. It drips, because there's a lot of colour. So that's what it's trying to do, it's built up too much colour here. But of course it's not going to drip, is it? It's not going to go downwards because you've got a force of air coming out with it. So it goes... <clears throat> so when I'm airbrushing, I always try, here we go, and have a piece of paper in my spare hand. When I do a bit of spraying, stop, blot. Spray, stop and blot. And then I don't get any of that spraying on there. Now, I've not needed to do that at any point tonight. It's not spatting us at all, has it? So it doesn't happen often. But if you were to do that, you would stop it from happening entirely, as long as you've not got either of the other two problems going on. So, we'd unscrewed the cup because we'd given that a wash, hadn't we? We've also rinsed down here, we've given that a wash, and we've also taken these two sets of notch lines off. Now you'll notice that I'm putting them down in what I call a clock order. So the first one at 12, second one at 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Um, if you can manage to count to about four or five, then you're good to go. I can't spell party, so I'm not doing very well. Now can you see where the two metals meet? This, by the way, is a lock. So actually, if I tighten that back up, I'm going to put this all the way in so it won't go any further. Can you see I can't now move the trigger at all? If I unscrew that now to part way, it goes part way back. And what that's about is helping out your muscle memory. So for me, my muscle memory tells me that I only need to go a little millimetre for some gentle projects. You might not be able to manage that and worry that you're just gonna go too far. So why not just lock the airbrush that stops it then from doing that? So the two parts come apart like so. And I'm gonna put that down. What are we at now, Daniel? Two o'clock, one o'clock? Three. 12, one, two o'clock. Two, come on. <laughs> It'd have been if you just said half past four, that's when I'm allowed. <laughs> So if I now pull the trigger backwards, it I want like you... three o'clock from where I am as well. No, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Um, I've told you I can't spell party and I can't tell the time. I want you to watch this end here when I pull back the trigger. So back it goes. Can you see it move? 
because that is the other end of the needle. That's what's going on basically inside our airbrush. There's not a lot in there really to go wrong. This is what we call the cone shaped nut. That is going to be unscrewed because it's that that's bolting that needle in place. If I now move this, the needle stays still, but only this bit moves. So it was really kind of pulling it all to. I'm now gonna pull out the needle and that was wedged there because it's filthy. It doesn't look too bad. And that's gonna go down there. And then basically we've got two barrels now going on. This one here is giving our trigger that traction look. Can you see how it springs, oh, pulled it out. It springs back into place and it springs back into place because it's got a spring holding it together. That trigger, by the way, was held in by the needle. So the needle in pins everything and it can all go horribly wrong once you've lost it. But actually it means that we can show everybody how to put it back together so we're good. I'm gonna take that pin out. We've completely lost our clock look. We don't know where anything is at any point. It exposes now the spring Take that off. And on my airbrushes now that are new, this tiny little piece that's in the top here is attached to this piece of metal. It used to be separate, but the amount of emails I used to get to tell me that they'd lost that little bit or couldn't get it back, then I've given you another one basically, all attached in one place. But if it comes out, don't worry, it's attached like a little foot. So like you're playing football, you would just go to kick the ball and put that back in, like that. So all that happens. Now, the trigger did come out, look. On my blue hand, you can now see the trigger. And it's got a brass pin on the bottom. My older type airbrush actually had a little, like a bar across it. Not much difference, if I'm honest. And if I show you the bottom of the airbrush here, then basically that's where the airflow is coming through, isn't it? That's where we attach it to the easy release connector. And that brass pin sits in a hole which is the other side of that that's all that's going on now that's one of these jobs that's going to take 30 seconds or four hours so depending on how interesting you'd like this airbrush <laughs> demo to be <laughs> depends well, why are you doing that the paper that was used for the ribbons is called wafer paper i have put it in the wish list yeah so let's just go back anybody who's interested in buying anything this evening everything that dawn has used tonight including her airbrush, the fractal colours, the um, spare pen, scriber, everything, sweet stamps, the Katie Sue design moulds, they're all in the wish list. There so just pop is. over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. At the top of the page, you'll see Facebook Live. Drop into Facebook Live, this month's tutorials, drop into there, find Dawn Butler, she's right at the top, and everything that she's used tonight is in that section to make it very easy for you. There you go. So I've just popped the trigger back in. It's, it's literally trying to fit a round peg into a round hole that exactly matches it. And you'll feel all of a sudden it'll just pop in. This foot then would go back in. Guys, remember, you don't need to take the trigger out and you don't need to take this out. And I wouldn't be stripping it all the time. I'm stripping it if I've got an issue. If I find that the trigger has no longer got traction to it, well, there's something that I need to sort out in here. All I need to do is just take a look at it and probably tighten it. You're dealing with something that vibrates all the time that you're using it, so it's working itself loose. So just give it a little bit of a tighten and you'll find that you'll have fixed the problem. There really isn't anything you can break unless you shear off the sheath or you damage the end of the needle. And then you just need to contact me and I'll fix them for you. Back on goes the cone shape. Not anybody else that has ever had a problem with an airbrush, they'll know that basically I just fix it for free. I just want you with a working airbrush. There'll be even customers out there that will tell you that they've had a wedding cake due out that week. I've sent them a new airbrush first to borrow. They've airbrushed with it. They've got the cake out on time. Then they've sent me the new, the, my airbrush that I've lent them and the faulty one back when we've got no hurry. And then I'll fix it and back it will go. But guys, I care about you airbrushing and I care about the cake orders that you've got. I'm not interested in so being a millionaire. So Louisa Johnston say, Johnstone says, how often does one need to pull apart? Only if you need to. Only if you need to. Only if you need to. But you need to understand if your airbrush isn't working right, it's not broken. Genuinely, it's not broken. I must get about 20 emails a day. Um, and I mostly put them onto videos. So we're going to save this video and save it onto the page so that you know where it is and that we've got it. Um, but if you can't fix it that way, I quite often FaceTime with people. Or I'll take it back and I'll fix it. And it takes me a couple of minutes to fix them. Um, it's usually that they've not been cleaned. 
that's what it is. And Tony, yes, we do deliver to Australia. What you'll need to do is private message me and um, I will forward that on to Laura, who will then give you a quote for shipping. There because you go. I actually sent one to my granddaughter in Australia. We've sent a few to Australia, anyhow. Yes, I've got you. direct stock and yeah. over there, but absolutely, yeah. if you want to get all yeah. the stuff from Sugar and Crumbs, just no liquids. Yes, that's a good point. We can't send liquids abroad. Nobody can send liquids abroad anymore on planes. Uh, aerosols or aerosols. actual li can't send liquids. We had them returned well, back to us. It's the ingredients of what's in it, isn't it? So certain things we need to check out. Okay, that's fine. It depends. There's nothing wrong with the fractal ingredients. But well, yeah, they're water-based, aren't they? So they should be all right. Yeah, it's stuff that's got alcohol and stuff. Yeah, there's nothing the wrong with the fractal ingredients, yeah. but we have had them when they've gone through the magic scanner, right. being sent back. The end of the day, it'll either go through the scanner or it won't at the post office. And unfortunately, yeah, the courier, the no, courier is not somebody to argue with. His no. name is God, and that is the end of it. And that's that. And unfortunately, we've usually paid the postage. Yes. And then it's been returned to us, and the customer expects the postage back. Which then leaves us in a loss then because we have to pay the postage on something that didn't go. So now we just don't send any liquids at all. No, and that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Shall I pull um, a couple of these um, macarons off? To get the liquids mm -hmm. across is the only way we can ship them across on a container. We just can't fly them, that's all. Right, so somebody has asked a question. She was asked it a while ago. Oh, sorry. Would you recommend a box? Ah, for no. A no, 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 <laughs> no. Um, loads of people ask me this. Um, so I've bought myself a box. Um, we've gone a bit silly tonight. We've gone all over the place. And I'm trying to do stuff for telly, which is different to if you're doing stuff at home. So if I was at home, I would have my... Um, I have a, a piece of foam core, basically. A big, big A1 sheet of foam core, which is the polystyrene, little thin sheets of polystyrene with card either side of it. They do it in usually like white or black. So I have two in white and two in black, and I use them for photographing cakes. When I've made marks them, I don't want them anymore, I then use them for airbrushing. And I have one on my cooker hub, and I have one up behind, because tiles wipe clean, grout does not. Yeah. And then I will put my extractor hood on above it and turn the light on, and I would airbrush that way. If you want to, two down the side, but never into a box. Now you've seen where the mist of this colour has gone tonight, straight up someone else's nose. But Carol was sat there opposite I me. I was sat right in front yeah? of her. That would have hit the surface and it would have hit my yeah. board. It wouldn't have hit Carol ordinarily. But to be fair, I'm not actually covered in it. No, you're not. It's, I've you got breathe no it colour. in. Yeah. That's all it is. You I've got it in. It's only up my nose. Yeah. Yeah, I've got no colour on me whatsoever. But if you imagine that we are putting very, very fine mist into the air, if you stick that in a box, it's got nowhere to go but circulate, and it circulates inside the box until it settles on your cake. It might be that you're doing an ombre and you've gone green at the bottom and you want blue at the top. By the time you get to blue at the top, it's actually going to coat the whole cake and you won't get an ombre. Because what you've done is allow that mist to settle and it goes onto the whole cake. So unless you've spent a lot of money on it and it's got an extractor to it, pieces of cardboard either side, extractor fan above. If you don't have an extractor and you still want to use a box, then cut a circular hole the same size as the hose to your vacuum cleaner. Um, plug that in and vacuum away. Yeah. But don't so, use your mum's vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing is, um, Sarah Webster says she feels much more comfort comfortable about using her airbrush now. Thank you for the demo. Um, in terms of using the fractal, you can use the fractal in any airbrush machine. Yes, you, know, you absolutely can. can. You can use the fractal colours in any. Um, they're called Flow Air for the M Fractal Flow Air. For the larger bottles. Which are the larger bottles and they're the matte colours. For the Shim Air, which are absolutely amazing. They're all metallics, all pearls and they are stunning colours. I've actually never seen anything like no, them. No, And they're called Fractal Shim Air. But as I said, you can go to the website and on our um, search button you can write Flow Air in the search button, it'll bring all the mats or shimmer, okay? You can go to brands and go to Fractal. There's five sections. There's the sections for the airbrushing colors, flow air, shimmer. There's the gels for the buttercream. There's the um, dust for dusting. And there's the most amazing pens with a very fine point. They're amazing. So okay. you know we were talking Gorgeous. about this dragon? 
So we were talking about the dragon. Can you see from there that it's red and it's gold? Mm. That is golden sunrise, or gold sunset, isn't it? Yeah. Gold sunset? Yeah. One coat of the colour. And it's red and, and it's gold beautiful. at the same time. This one here is the golden turquoise. And I don't know whether you can see. Yeah. It's stunning. But it's gold and turquoise yeah. at the same time. Yeah. On the macaron. Yeah. How fab is that? So we're not fab. saturated it. Nothing. No. It's absolutely fabaroony. How many of those can you spray up for us, Dawn? So they can well, see all the colours. I can't pull them off. That's my worry. <laughs> Can't get them off the pot. Oh, that we can spray up. Well, why don't we do more rice paper? I've got loads of rice paper. Yeah. Okay, let's, we're going to show you some of the shimmer colours. We're about to finish. So Dawn's going to quickly whiz through some of the shimmer. Yeah, want some rice paper? Yes, but not you just yet. I'm just getting rid of this colour when we put it in the station guard. So one of the things is we're having a class tomorrow, and it's quite interesting what Dawn said there about, you know, covering your kitchen up. I've got a, an all-white kitchen here tomorrow. Um, but we are <laughs> but we are going to manage, we are actually going to roll our worktop with backing wallpaper. Yeah, when we right, not for the rest of the class, but just before we're out yeah. and that's all. Yeah. But but the point is you should be pointing down, it's not a horizontal thing. It's always about pointing down. So that it's hit this surface, that's what it's doing. It's hitting the surface and then it's stopping. So whilst the worktop might be covered, there's nothing else that's covered in here. Carol isn't covered in colour. It's only me, because I'm touching stuff. This is the Claret. Um, Carol also does the lipstick red, which I do kind of periodically. That's one of my favorite colors too. Always spray until the color comes through. But that's such a gorgeous color. Yeah, stunning. You saw the coral pink earlier. And you saw the um, Kingfisher. I might as well make up some. Wafer loops. paper and rice paper is the same thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Wafer it's paper just, and rice paper is the same it's thing. It's just that it kind of comes in di different thicknesses, that's all. So you need to just be um, aware of uh, what thickness it is that you're buying. And you don't really want the super, super thin stuff. No. Um, and you can see I'm just giving it a gentle spray over and we're kind of done. So we're back into the cleaning session again, what would you mm. like? I don't know, a gold. A gold. A gold. A gold. A gold. A silver. A green. So you'll notice I'm not actually rinsing through either. Yeah. So I'm the hoping... Yellow. The sunset yellow would be nice. Oh yeah. Shall well, I actually... Actually, I will show you how I make a lime colour because they don't do a lime. So look at that for a gold colour there. I know, it's how stunning. stunning well, is I've that? got red in there as well, so it's yeah. a little bit reddy, but it is a beautiful gold. So the shimmer colours are absolutely stunning. Now, they are going to last you a long time, a very long time. You only need a bit, so it's well worth the investment. I don't do them as sets because there's far too many colours. Um, I was selling them as sets and I had that many people asking me, can I swap this, can I swap that? To be fair, what I've done is I've just done a reduction on price. I've knocked a pound off the colours. In fact, I've knocked one pound fifty off the colours and, um, and I just sell them individually now. It yeah. makes it better. So I'm going to show you how we did the lime green because on the first cake there was a lime green bow. And what I used was this uh, sunflower yellow. This is also great, by the way. You could add a touch of brown to it or put it on brown, put it on a different color and it will change the base and it will make it a very, very bright gold. So it won't be as yellow, it will be a gold. And then I've got golden green. Um, and I only want a bit of it, and I've liked this one because it's already got the gold in it as well. So, but just one drop, look, a couple of drops, and then to mix my colours, basically, a piece of kitchen paper. I'm going to pull back. You know how we were cleaning out the airbrush? What we're doing now is just basically mixing up our colour until we get our nice lime green, and that is what I sprayed. There, look. That's lovely. I thought it was really quite nice and bright. Mm. And again, go with the colour combinations. Do one on one side, one on another, another side. side. It really does make it pop. 
and so so easy to do you see that I'm going a nice sort of good distance away um, but yeah how fab is that color? I love that color it's good to see you putting two colors together Yes, to make see what color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I use the Malibu peach a lot. Oh, the Malibu peach is lovely. For, um, let me show you this one on camera. So I use the Malibu peach a lot as a rose gold. Mm -hmm. But if you want it even more rosier than that, then you're looking at adding drops of your coral pink or a drop of claret. Um, there's even things like the red copper. It's called sunset. Maureen Smith, if you've placed an order, if you want to add to that order, just throw some more stuff in your shopping basket, press click and collect, and in the notes, you must put this, in the notes, put add, please add to my previous order. And the order number, if you've got it. And if you've got the order number, that would be really helpful. But if you put anybody who's already placed an order tonight and you now want to add to it, just quickly add, to, add it to the shopping basket, press click and collect, in the order notes, I please dispatch with my order and if possible, put your order number. Things like these, I mean, look at how gorgeous are these. This one I use on cars quite a bit. The green is stunning and not just for Christmas stuff. I uh, don't know if anybody's seen the dragon handbag that I made with that new KTC mold, but I used that on there and then the claret as well. So that was rather lovely. I they, think that, how, many um, should, how, how many fractal colours is that? Crikey. I don't know. I've lost count. I've yeah. got the sandals still around they, to tell us. Um, we've got absolutely loads of matte colours and we've got loads of the metallic colours. They are absolutely stunning. They're all water based and they go on chocolate as well. Do you want to spray some that chocolate? They do. Where's the chocolate gone? Two chocolate bars there. There's white chocolate. So we're just going to quickly show you. We're going to open up a bar of white chocolate and a bar of milk chocolate. I'll just open up one. We'll do. We'll do with one. Otherwise, I should eat it, Carol. It's all right. We're going to take it home and eat it. Great. Because we're not having it. Yes. So when you're spraying chocolate. Then open the white. That's <laughs> white. <laughs> I'll do now. Well, we'll see. So Nikki Rimmer said, ooh, shimmer red on one side and gold on the other. Yeah. There she yeah. said it for Christmas. Exactly right. Can't be talking about Christmas now. Exactly right. Do the colours taste of anything? No, not at no. all. Nothing at all. That's a good thing. So that like now, instead of um, rolling out by buying coloured sugar paste or having to colour sugar paste yourself, you can make a white cake and just colour it with the airbrush. That's right. And that gives a very light colour Without having any, without having too many more additives on it. We ought to it. really show off this, the gold that we had out. That's yeah. what we should do. We're going to show off the gold, and then we've only got a minute, and then we're going to say goodbye. Unless you want us to stay. If you want us to stay, put your thumbs up. <laughs> we're in rear having a meltdown. I know. <laughs> So I've just flicked out airbrushes instead of uh, you waiting for me to clean stuff. So what I've done, I don't know whether you missed it, I've basically wiped down the surface of the chocolate with a piece of kitchen paper. Regardless of whether I was using a water-based colour or an ethanol colour, you always take the shine off the chocolate, basically. Um, but look at that. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that? Mm, wow. Looks fab, doesn't it? Yeah. So we can be spraying up all sorts of things, basically. Yeah. Um, whether, like I said, whether it's the meringues, whether it's buttercream. We haven't got any buttercream. Have we? I have got On some anything. buttercream, but I haven't got any. Uh, have got anything? You haven't got an old cupcake. Uh, no. No. Sorry. I've done that for you. But, um, um, but yes, you can be absolutely spraying up anything. If we get the white out, we'll see what it does to that. Just have a look at this cake here. This has got the screen on it. You can spray it to that. Don't ruin it though. Yeah, we can spray it to that. Okay. Yeah, this is what's screen cake. Oh, Alright. Spray it back on that because that'll give you plenty. Well, I'll spray it in a silver one. But this oh. is white chocolate, look. Yeah? <laughs> Straight onto there. Should we make some space so they can see? Yes. I can feel you getting crowded in I there. am. I feel like I'm 
feel as though we've got a video in the kitchen, there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're not going to spray up the front of this cake, we're going to spray up the back of the cake. So, do you want to show Which them is the back? That is the back. This is the back. Yeah, but this is buttercream. This is all buttercream. Yes. So literally, look, it's going to spray up. This looks a bit gross gold over this. Oh, oh, should we do an iridescent colour? And that has already been sprayed up with silver. Yes, but with an airbrush colour. Yeah. But yeah, lots of people think that a water-based colour won't go on. I mean, I would be doing this quite happily with the um, flow air. No bother at all. Um, you do need to go gently with that. So once you've learnt the art of gentle, um, there's pretty much anything you can, anything you like, you can do. Um, but yeah, we can be spraying away, look. Can't see the colour now with this being blue. But the iridescent blue is absolutely gorgeous. But you can see I've gone through a cup full of colour. Um, and not affect it at all. I'm just wondering whether you can oh, stick my finger in it instead. What colour are you doing there? I've done it the iridescent blue. You won't pick it up on the camera, but I can see it. It looks yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, but ombres and things like that. Um, I'll post some pictures on the comments on here so you can see some of the buttercream cakes that I've done um, where you're just adding an ombre to them, basically. Um, yeah. Anything you like, anything that you can airbrush up, you can do. We can. But anyway, that's a good thing there. So are we done, Dawn? We are done, I reckon. Yeah. This is kind of where we started. I know we haven't finished the bow. So that these guys can take a photo, um, I'll finish this bow up, um, probably during class tomorrow when we've got the wafer paper out, so that we can at least take a nice picture of it. Absolutely. But actually, we filled time with all sorts of other stuff because the cake was finished, and uh -huh. I didn't want to bore you with me wake, making wafer paper bows. To how fair, quickly did it come together? I wouldn't worry because everybody has said, that they love the fact that you've gone to the trouble of explaining everything. See? Good. That's good, good, good. That's what's so good about our little dinky doodle. Nah. <laughs> so guys, thank you for joining us here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Dawn, as usual, full of fantastic hints and tips, information. I love the way that she's decorated this cake tonight. I would never have thought of doing something like that myself. It's so great and do you know what? She's made it look easy enough. We can all do it. So I'm full of hints and tips. She's full of blue bogies. What more can you ask for? <laughs> so, <laughs> so now, we're going to have to go because we have to clean this kitchen tonight, ready for the class for tomorrow. <laughs> but we are here tomorrow night after the Dragon class for about 20 minutes to show you how the class got on. So hopefully we should be finished about six, half past six. I will give you half an hour's notice so that you can come in and have a look how well the class has done. We'll also be doing another little live on Saturday with the Nifty Nozzles um, pupils in. Again, just a 20 minute little shot, but then we're back on Monday for our main feature live. And our main feature live is we've got Karen Davies oh. in the house. Oh. Karen is just like Dawn, great fun, loads of information, and she is releasing two new moulds. If you haven't seen her email, you can't buy them, but you can buy them off us on Monday. Okay, they are stunning. You are going to go bonkers, and believe me, when you see them, you're going to want an airbrush as well. Yes. Because the <laughs> airbrush is going to make them pop. So I can't tell you any more than that, but be here 8 o'clock on Monday. It doesn't matter whether you miss tomorrow or Saturday. <laughs> you need to be here on Monday to watch these fabulous two new moulds. And then you'll be going, I wish I'd bought an airbrush, because you will want one. So we'll see you then. Thank you for joining us. Thanks Thank so you so much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. We're going to get Dawn back in the kitchen again in a couple of months. She's agreed to come back and do that. I'm going to book a class for her again. Daniel. Daniel yeah, can he can come back. Right, we always like right. handsome ones in the kitchen, <laughs> don't we? Come and say goodbye, Daniel. So we've also got to say goodbye to Laura and Maria. Thank you, as usual. You know these girls have been in from 7 o'clock in the morning. They do a full, long day don't on a Monday. Just. So you have to adjust the camera to fit Daniel yeah. in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, don't worry. Fine. So, you know, we all work here. For, we work here very hard to produce these lives for you free of charge we don't charge and we're never going to charge what we do want you to do is appreciate our tutors coming in showing you their products 
you know we would love it if you come and shopped off on our website and supported us because of you know what we're giving you back in return and and you know what just keep joining us and we encourage your friends to come and join us and it's always nice to have a handsome bloke <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bloke yet, I think you've got a, I think you've got a job don't you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get my arm drowned in <laughs> so. <laughs> Not bad for 14. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow night, around about half six to half past. Yeah. Saturday night, the same. And we'll see you on Monday for the main live with Karen Davies in the kitchen. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye. Bye.